Yelon as well. You're joking. Yelon has a rerun. Linny. Linny? Fire. Fire character. Interesting. I don't know anything about the new characters at all. I think these are the two we saw in that trailer at the very start of the game. You know when they, they released like a little a video and people were like really fond of Sino in that one as well. <clears throat> I think Linny and Lynette. It looks like it's a bow character. I am spoiling myself by <laughs> scrolling through this. She's my favorite right here with the umbrella. I love her. She looks Geo, right? Because of the colors, color scheme, but I'm not sure. What I found interesting here is that MC is pretty big. This character is pretty big. I have no idea who they are. I assume they're not the Archon because I feel like it. they're way too much. <laughs> they're way too much presented. I don't know. Maybe they are. But Lynette and Linny are pretty small here. I feel it almost would mean like their involvement isn't that big. You just meet them first, perhaps. I don't know. As light rain falls without reason. It reminds me of that one island on uh, Inazuma that just kept raining. Okay, really? There's nothing. I thought we'd get some dialogue pop up from the start. Now, listen, before I get moving, couple things. I said I would, and so I will. Let's get into the French intro in just a second. I wanted to thank you real quick before that. Thank you to all of you that left a super kind comment under the video saying that I would take a break. I know it's only a week, but every kind word still means a lot to me. And I know our community was amazing. I always get so much support, but seeing it every time again, it just makes me more and more proud every time. So. Thank you. You really mean the world to me. Yo tout le monde, comment ça va? Bienvenue uh, à Fontaine. Bon, je suis pas vraiment à Fontaine encore, mais <laughs> ça va arriver, j'imagine. Uh, j'en crois pas trop mes yeux. Je vais pas vous mentir, j'en ai eu assez marre du désert, donc je suis très content qu'on puisse enfin partir de là-bas. Et super heureux d'être en France maintenant. Bon, je sais que tout le monde dit que Fontaine équivaut à la France, mais j'ai quand même l'impression que ça va être très différent. Bon, on verra bien. Et avant de continuer en anglais, je voulais vous dire un dernier truc. Je... Ne suis pas français. <rire> J'habite en France depuis que je suis très jeune, mais je suis néerlandais. Voilà, j'espère que ça répondra à des questions pour tout le monde. Je pourrais en parler plus dans un Q&A dans le futur, si c'est quelque chose que vous souhaitez entendre. Was a little promise I made. I hope you still will enjoy the intro. I will subtitle it in English, of course, so you can understand it. Let's get into it. Hope you enjoy. The bingo on stream will be a video eventually. Probably second channel. Also, all the Honkai content, whether it be Star Rail or Impact, will also be on the second channel. All right, now, enough talking. Let's check out where Fontaine actually is. I have a pin. I have a pin down. Wow. Wow, what? Is this where I pinned? Hey. Oh, <laughs> it's not that, it's like on the border. How, what a weird shape. This is so unusual. So it looks like they put a little boat down here. Now, a question I have, I think the story starts at Caravan Ribat over here. Time to go to Fontaine, it seems. The next phase of your journey is about to begin. Wow, I can't hold myself back. I really just want to go there. I'm sorry for the mess you start to this. You probably skipped through it if you didn't. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with my absolute mess right now. It, it, unlock, Unlock any statue of the Seven Full Ten to begin the event. Okay, Hydra Lumine is required. Lynette. Oh, you get her for you get her for free? She's a fr free character. This is kind of spoilers. What is this? Lumidus. <laughs> Lumidus Bell. <laughs> Meshing gear. You can just click, you get her? That's insane. Test running. Yelan, my beloved. Okay, so it looks like Linny is a five star and Lynette a four star. And she's Animo. Friendship quest. Oh my god, that looks sick. What? You know that I, I saw ads and it was like a huge, I think it was Fontaine City or whatever it's going to be, like the main city. And I was like, to me, where I live in, anyway in France, it's Plains. And this very much looks like Plains. What are you? It's a new boss? This looks crazy. It's a guy dancing with a mechanical. Oh, I love steampunk energy as well. Another boss? Holy shit. Okay. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm loving this. Wow, only 600 gems. This is kind of cheap. This is kind of cheap. We're used to more, I feel. Even though oh my god, wait. This is real? I saw I saw a post online. And the background is according to what region you're in? They actually have poses? No. Let's go get ourselves. I love her! Answers. Stop! Stop! This is so I did not know this was real! I thought this was an edit! <laughs> I thought this was fan-made! What does you love? Ready for reconnaissance. Yo, they got a little, little twirling as well. This is ridiculous. Mika Schmidt. Uh, I'll take point in <laughs> Mika Schmidt! Mika Schmidt, the legend. What about you? What about you? She swings in! She tail. swings in! No, oh, stop oh, pelting my boy. New. New. Zhang Li, for real? For real? You just fade in. She swings in. <laughs> there is no fighting her. Ning. 
Ning, why don't you just spin in? I guess you're not a five star. Oh! Dude, these two are the coolest ones, Mona. Just. Dude! So these are clearly more favored than others. This one's lame. Look at this. <laughs> what is this? You will sometimes encounter... Look at that! You now have layers on the map! Dude, I changed my I changed my commissions to random and I'm still, so I'm still getting to collect the weasel. Whoa! So many layers! What the hell? <laughs> That's why that's hell to explore. Oh! See, I figured this would happen. There would still be story. Okay. Just a little bit. I completely skipped going to the Adventurer's Guild. Maybe we missed some lore. That would be a shame. Silence. Oh my god. It's just there? You're telling me we were blind to this a second ago. We were in the desert, we didn't say anything here. You miss saying bye to Dia? Figured I would. Actually, it didn't do anything. Maybe we can still go there. So, wow, it's like a magic trick. And then what? Okay, I love this. Huh, I could have sworn this was supposed to be like to get there, but it's so close. It's actually ridiculously close. That's so weird. Did they add this part of the desert as well or no? I don't, yeah, I think it did, right? This is all new. We are gonna get started with the story. I did my live stream. There will be a video about it at some point, I'm sure. Uh, we unlocked Lynette, who is the other character I got in Fulten, so it counts. I'm not sure if we're gonna do the Lumine only. We'll see. Let's not make it be too painful. Let's have fun instead. We're first going to go to Caravan Ribat, and I went the wrong way. Meet up probably with some old friends and move our way to Fontaine, which I did unlock most of the stuff of already. It'll be great. It'll be great. The area is pretty. Music's great. Let's say goodbye to our old Sumeru friends. Uh huh. We were either like looking for someone or fleeing. Were we, were we both fleeing from guards and looking for Sino or something like that? Oh, Paimon remembers. Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor. The doctor. But we followed the clues she left behind to help her. Good memory, Paimon. I guess we may have stumbled upon this place at some point before. So much time has already passed since then. I know. And it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Uh, I, I guess. Just Not very noticeable. Last a long time. And then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. Yeah, but as long as we're around, it's hard to say it will happen. Yeah. We're the variable. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Uh-huh. Who knows what will happen next? I am very intrigued. I've seen a couple things about Fontaine, having having been there now and walked around, and it kind of feels like you know, revolution sticks to France a little bit. Things like that. And it's the, what is it? The city of, or like the nation of justice, was it? Come to think so. Of it, maybe it's all because of you. The irony. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. That's what it is. Thank you. Really cheered me up there, Paimon. I appreciate that. I was just thinking you might be the problem. Huh? Me? Yeah. Before Paimon ran into you, Paimon never ran into I fished you out of the sea. But most, when she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool mm -hmm. and sucked out into sea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you you were the start of my trouble. Uh, anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. All right, let's continue on our journey. Next stop, Fulton. Uh, look who it is. No, oh, running hello. into you in a place like this, I can see you two still love wandering around. Uh huh. Oh, it's Dia. Hmm. Since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business. Uh huh. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. I mean, what even... I guess our journey is just meeting all the Archons and asking them if they know anything about our sibling. That's still our main goal. That's been our goal since Mondstadt. Took us a while. <laughs> we only met four of them. But never mind that. What brings you here? That's kind of crazy, though. This is going to be the fifth Archon we meet. Only two more after this. I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Uh-huh. Nothing too interesting. All right. Just escorting a shipment of goods. Lovely. I'm on my way to report back. It went perfectly, I'm sure. That's when I saw you two all the way over there, chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? We're going, do you? I'll miss you. Oh. No. <laughs> huh? Y you serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious. Can't say I saw that coming. Mm, but you are travelers. <laughs> no. 
I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Uh, why are you make it so bittersweet? We'll come back. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Don't worry, I still have your hangouts to do, so we'll talk in that. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? Okay. What do you say? Thanks, but no need. Oh, Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely we'll mostly Paimon, right? When we get a chance. Uh huh. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and Ugh. navigate some waterways. Ugh. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. Oh man, I, I still have the taste of sand in my mouth. So, uh, when are you leaving? Right now. <laughs> oh, I like this. Journeys should be spontaneous. Yeah, whenever, whenever oh, it just happens. No. No. Now, where is that list Paimon made? Leave me alone. Hmm. Hmm. It's me, François. François Le Quatorze. De Fontaine. J'aime les frites. I see. Ooh. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. The ironic drama or whatever. It's sad enough to see you go Dramatic irony. This. Whatever it was. <laughs> Though... Now that I think about it, uh -huh. Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Ah, uh, stop it. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> hey, unsung heroes, we don't, we don't do it for the credit. We what do it for the way? people. Should we go say bye to Nahida? Nah, she'll know from our dreams. Oh, good point. <laughs> then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Exactly. Then I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Yep. Yeah. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Take care. Bye, Dia. Goodbye, Dia. Bye, bye, Samara. <laughs> wow. All right, and that was it. Sumeru is officially done. After settling matters in Sumeru, you approach the border with Fontaine. Can you believe it? Oh my God. Okay, here's a little. Fragments. This happened on stream, obviously. Maybe I record it, so maybe I can add it here. If I didn't, that's okay. You'll see it at some point. The way you get there, I think I just got a boat. Did I get a boat? Yeah, I got a boat. I think I got a boat. <laughs> yeah, it's still there. So I'm just gonna teleport this time. Let's jump down. Not quite the scenic route. It's more of a flying one we're taking right now. It's very interesting, though. There is a lot of things around here that are extremely new. Like those little... That little... I don't know, that race of people, they're very cute. They're just tiny little... I think they're more like, um, deers. They're kind of deers. Etienne, Rina. Very French names oh, everywhere. Yep. How cool is this, guys? Wow. Look at it. Everything looks so advanced in Fontaine. Yep. Paimon's heard that the industry here is extremely developed, and there are all kinds of unusual machines. Yeah, so I heard, man, it's about what I imagined. Honestly, it's more impressive than I thought. I thought it'd be different. Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, mm -hmm. but maybe it would be better if we found something to do. Sure. What do you think? Finding something to do. <laughs> let's start by meeting the Hydra Archon. I mean, if it's that easy, yeah, let's Good do it. Yeah, Nahida gave us loads of useful information. I don't remember any of it. Seeking out the Seven is probably still our best source for information at this there point. There you go, that's what I said. Our journey is to find my sibling, and also to find the truth. I'm more interested in the truth at this point. I don't know about what, but sure. Yeah, the more we can learn, the better. Yep. So, what do you think the Hydro Archon I have like? no idea. Will we get along? I hope so. Nahida said that she has a very unique personality. Whatever that means. I want to see what she looks like. I'm so intrigued. I have to no idea. About a nation's god, start with the nation's people. Fair enough. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Mm -hmm. Let's go Deal? Uh, if you ask me, it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Huh. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Okay, Etienne. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at <laughs> least fight on a little longer for his family. Huh. I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Oh, it's a... Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. It's a novel, perhaps. They're talking about a novel. Has to be. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? <laughs> I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. <laughs> couldn't help but notice you were being extremely impolite. Uh, I did see cat girls stand there as well. We're travelers new to Fontaine. And we have Fontaine. To ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, mm -hmm. so we didn't want to interrupt. Some kind of play? Uh, 
play? Oh, it's real life. Okay, oh, no, she... No, no. We're talking about something that really happened. Okay. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Okay. Really? Like, a real trial? <laughs> but the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Yeah, poetic, dude. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? <laughs> In what you nice hat. You may also be How is it sticking? On an act while Sorry. Harboring ulterior motives. Oh yeah, so true. I was listening. Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. Uh, what? The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. Okay. I mean, it's a take. It's a take. Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. We did say that. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, really? or more commonly known as Epicles. just the Opera House. So they see trials as a sort of opera. But uh, <laughs> should court cases <laughs> what? be treated a little more seriously than that? <laughs> not to question Fontaine's way of doing things. Mm -hmm. It's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very Serious thing. Uh huh. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine. Now I'm really intrigued. Thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. So okay, people get judged, and you still make a story about it afterwards. Nahida, leave me alone. I've left Sumeru. I'm in Fontaine now. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence. we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Neuvillette. Neuvillette. Okay, you would pronounce this Neuvillette. I thought this was a girl, but apparently it's a man. As well as the oratrice mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. <laughs> the what? No! <laughs> the machine and the chief justice. False charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. <laughs> the oratrice mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. <laughs> okay, I'll, I, I'm gonna try and repeat things. For once, I get to do the pronunciation the right way. So this would be Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinal. So it wasn't too bad, honestly, but it had a, a very American accent to it. Huh, a judgment device created by the Archon. So this is the Nation of Justice. Oratrice. Justice, did I say that right this earlier? Kind of machine too? Oh, the Oratrice. I didn't hear how Paimon said it. Chance. Yeah, sure. Hopefully not on the wrong end, though. Wait. Paimon almost forgot to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? <laughs> you can't. You can't. Oh, that's easy. Oh. Just go to the opera house. Wait. Lady Farina practically lives there. Farina. You say it's her biggest passion. Lady Farina. Okay. Uh -huh. I think what they mean is that they wish yes. to speak with the Archon personally. Thank you. I was going to say, well, well, Farina. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. Uh -huh. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and mm -hmm. it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. Oh, uh, make an appointment? Time slots? That busy? Time slots. Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? Probably. Wait, didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? But that was about someone else, I think. No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. <laughs> okay. So she's just an actress. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, uh -huh. people can't get enough of her. Okay. Sure. Huh. First time I'm an odd heard take. Of an archon being described that way before. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> Wait! Hyman gets now! The Hydro Archon is kind of like a big celebrity here, right? I mean, it's kind of like that everywhere, no? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. Okay. Hang on. Wait this is a still second, Fontaine's that's a reference. Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. <laughs> What was her name from the um, Idea? Idea was the mascot. It's a callback, isn't it? it has to be. Yes, you're right. My apologies. I, I should at least try to be a little more respectful in mm. front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested, arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Neuvillette. Monsieur Neuvillette. <laughs> Monsieur Neuvillette. All right. <laughs> Come on. Monsieur sure, Neuvillette. there's a lot of laws here, but nobody's going to be arrested it. for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. The Hydro Archon has smelly pits. Ha <laughs> ha. I did it. I'm not in jail yet. Seems like the people of Fontaine really like the Hydro Archon, but they don't appear to re revere. See, here, here goes me mispronouncing things. I'm not allowed to laugh at them, being hypocritical. All right, I think we get it. Thank you. <laughs> 
know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. Uh, I guess. But who knows how long making an appointment will take? Couple patches. <sighs> Couple we months. We could have a look around the city in the meantime. Sure. Hey, what are you looking over there for? I see things, reflections in the water. There's a girl over there. She's been standing alone for quite some time. And she has a cat ear. Well, two cat ears. And a cat tail. But it's not from Mondstadt. So it's a new cat. Look. I don't know. <gasps> She's going to jump into the water, is she? Wow, how bad would that be? Uh, it's so far down. We better go check on her. Yeah, of course, sure. <laughs> Slow walk away to it. Prelude of blancheur and noirceur. Prelude of so blancheur means whiteness essentially, and noirceur is darkness or blackness in this in this scenario. I, I assume it means it's probably both of the both of the magicians, one of them being this one. I don't know which one's supposed to be the light one. Hey, how about we get some tickets to the next trial? <laughs> that sounds very romantic. Hmm. I think we'd better wait and see what kind of case it is first. Can I come? <laughs> hey there. Young woman. Hey. We are one. Neuvillette. What's up? Uh, hello there. Excuse me. Are you alright? Are you Lynette? Hey, nice star, Madam Joe Star. Ah, uh, I'm fine. Thanks. Nice. Oh, All right, see okay you then. then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. Definitely. About many things, actually. <laughs> but there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. Ah, uh, don't we all relate? I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. Mm. It was just atop that hill over there. See? Ah, uh, so you still talk to your brother. Mine's been taken by the abyss. <laughs> you want to play that game? I can be sad too. Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? Maybe they're mermaids? <laughs> um, maybe there was no water here initially, I don't no know. People call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. Uh-huh. And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been completely submerged. I see. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. Lovely. For the your eyes. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. Mm-hmm. Salt. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. Nah, there's... The memories are in your head and heart, bro. Stop this. <sighs> it won't be long before it swallows us. Oh, wow, okay. I'm not sure if you're being poetic or dramatic, but it's one of the two. Ah, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. <laughs> Are you Lynette's new friends? Oh, well, that was quick. Are you the brother? Oh, and you are? <laughs> we don't even know Lynette's name yet. Thanks for looking after my sister. Well, I guess we do. She okay, it is the brother. She often reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. All right, well, you're a five-star and she's a four-star. That's why she's sad. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. Sure. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. Mm -hmm. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Yes, that is a wild guess you just did. Is it based on my outfit, perhaps? Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is a traveler. Rednos is Rednos. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. We were just talking with your sister. Even though we didn't really get what she was saying. <laughs> Even though she might need someone to talk to a bit more often. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. Huh. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. You know what? I was gonna say, because I ran around with her a little bit during the, my, like, discovering Fontaine, and... She never said a word. Like, she barely gasps during sprinting, during climbing, uh, during her moves or anything. She's actually very quiet. It's something I noticed, so maybe that's intentional for this. That'd be very cool. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! <laughs> always the one talking for some reason. Yeah, she never shuts up. I don't even get a chance to get anything in. There's hardly anything left for me to say with you around, Paimon. You always steal all my lines. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? Yes! I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. <laughs> Let's go, Lynette. Oh. High five. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. <laughs> <laughs> How about you guys hang out and then I hang out with Lynette? That seems like a great deal. So, what did Lynette mean just now 
and she said that the water is engulfing your memory. I mean, that one's easy. And it won't be long before it engulfs you too. Now that is more, that can be, that can have more depth. Get it depth because there's like more water. So like the bottom is deeper. I don't oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine uh, for some Let me time guess. Now. A Fatutu mystery that's been spreading. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word. Okay. Because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. Wow. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. Really? Okay, so what is happening in Fontaine? Where to begin? Hmm. Quick thing I wanted to add as well. He has a little droplet, right, under his eye. I'm not sure if this is true or not, but a brother of one of my friends got a tattoo like that. And apparently it means... <laughs> Which means I don't feel safe around this friend anymore. <laughs> it means they've killed someone. It's like a gang symbol. Now, I, I don't believe that'd be some dark twist to Linny's past, but I don't believe that's what's meant here. It's just a shape. But I do think that's what it means, supposedly. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? No, you're right. Please don't kill me. <laughs> uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Oh, we don't know his name, do we? I don't remember if Hello, he said it. Traveler. Hello. Traveler is Traveler. It's a pleasure to meet you. He's kind of polite, though. Maybe it's a cover-up. Maybe he's a murderer. And hello, Oh, look at her tiny hand. He gave her a little... What are you doing? Like a little bat... Back... Pat, back... Pat? <laughs> hey! Why did Paimon get a hand? <laughs> oh, you're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? I would, I would so shake Paimon's hand. It'd be so funny. <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. Okay. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Stop being sus. Now I'm actually weird. Weirded out. Oh. Alright then. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. <laughs> By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the High Gerard mm -hmm. Would you be able to show us the way? Yes. Please. So you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at Is all. Is she In fact, the I was planning to go to the opera house later myself. All right. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. You know, we love, we absolutely love to quarrel. Is that the term? Quarrel around? Do query. 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 Queries. We love doing stupid little tasks. So we're probably going to stick around with you as you do those and then go with you to the opera house later. Please follow me. Lovely. That's exactly, do you know what, you said it quicker than I, I'll just follow you and shut up. Maybe I'm talking too much, that's why Paimon does all the talking. Hey, what's up? I'm one of you, I'm one of the trio right now. Alright, scenic walk, it's gonna be a bit. Music, absolutely beautiful in this place. Uh, the fountains, or the waterfalls, are a bit loud, not gonna lie. It's not very therapeutic. Oh! Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Yeah. Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. Really? I mean, we are a star, after all. <laughs> Damn! Hello! Oh my god. She's so cool. What? But that's not the Archon, that one. The Electro one. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is that the Archon? I was so worried it would be her. Huh. So she's the Hydro Archon? Apparently. But how did she know we were looking for her? I think she was just looking for us from the moment she knew we were gonna come here. My dear people, rich and poor, <laughs> those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all. Oh raise no. your glasses in celebration! If you don't have oh them, no. Just raise your hand in, in Lou? In Liu. Okay, sure. In Lou. I assume that's how you would say it in English anyway. I'm not going to correct the Archon's pronunciation. I don't want to be put in jail. I was worried this would be the Archon. Very worried. I don't like her. <laughs> I don't like her. Maybe she'll grow on me. I don't know. It does feel, just by what she said now though, the difference will be it's going to be like a revolution As about who has the wealth. Too. Travelers have arrived. What's in with our her nation? eye as well? Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and her companion. This is so funny though. Journeyed here from distant lands. Wow, I love her outfit. And her outfit. I'm wearing that shirt right now. Literally, I did it intentionally because Fontaine. Uh, Stereotype. Is she talking about 
Who else would she be talking about? Of course she is. I like her way more. If she was the Archon, I'd be all for it. Nobody here seems to be holding a glass. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a way of speaking. I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you left in your wake. Really? other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. Wow. No, I have come to receive you personally. Another thing I've noticed, and people always take this as like such a stereotypical, but it's kind of an old French thing. It's like, you know how symmetry is really big? It's kind of like a weird symmetry, how her eyes are the same, but the colors are inverted. And it's the same with the Fontaine wings, and I really don't like that. Fear is for insignificant cowards. Uh-huh, sure. I am a god. All right. And I will never oh, God. entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. Uh huh. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. I like your um, queen brows. Your queen. What are these called? Queen lashes, I guess. Of course. Seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. Uh huh. It will allow you to truly behold my power and hey. witness my authority. Can we float the least? Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. Yeah, the one of the rich. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna overthrow the system. We're gonna be with the poor. I, Fosalor, hereby Fosalor. welcome you to the nation of Hydro. Mm -hmm. And acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. <laughs> well, uh, finding the Archon was easy enough. Kind of regret it. How about we skip Fontaine? Yeah, I still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. We have. This is accurate. But the Hydro Archon's entrance was... Uh, how yeah. How should describe it? A little over the top? Over the top hat. Get it? Because she's wearing a top hat. So it makes sense. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, Miss Hydro Icon, how did you know we were coming? I am a diviner. Uh, I see. As outlanders, you <laughs> inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. <laughs> oh my god. That even the gods can be divided into the mediocre. The music is nice, though. Excellent. Uh huh. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my ability. I see. I'm gonna guess as well. So far, there's only been duos, and every time there's been one very vocal person and one more quiet person. So, for example, for us, Paimon's the vocal one, we're the quiet one. Linny and Lynette, Linny's the vocal one. And Farina seems to be the vocal one, whereas that cool electro guard that I like way more seems to be the quiet one. You had best stop and consider. We'll see. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? Easily. Ooh. All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. Isn't he the guy that we that listened to us in Caravan Ribat? Yeah, he's the spy. He informed her. Whoa. That's why. Talk about sounding high and mighty. Yeah, feels like she can't get over herself. <laughs> yeah, you can frown at me. I'll beat you oh? up. What's with these looks? Put me in jail. The welcoming ceremony I don't care. Still isn't enough? No, it's not. Hmm. What else should I say then? Cover me in pancakes and primo gems. Uh, is she waiting for us to start talking? Hey, you're the talkative one. I'm the quiet one of our duo. Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise. Uh, she's going to be like, what? You came for these two? We talked to these what? two as well. Does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? <laughs> uh huh. How did I not notice before? You're a dummy. Hey, what's all the commotion? <laughs> Is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? <laughs> I look like this guy. I'm like, why are you talking to me? I'm just sitting here in my white and blue striped shirt. <laughs> of course. That's the blonde traveler. Me. The one all those stories flex. are about. Flex. Easy flex. Lady Farina came here to personally flex. see her. Uh huh. Oh, I bet this is going to be the duel, duel of the century. Duel? Ooh, I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. A duel with words, I assume you mean. <laughs> nah. Yes, but don't get too excited now. She hears everything. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get... She has hearing aid in for sure. They're so advanced here. I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. Wow. You may consider this my reward to all of you. For doing what? I have determined that there will be an epic duel. Epic. Between myself and this traveler from another land. Mm hmm Just as you were hoping to see. Wow, cheers. Uh, now she wants to fight? We are I'm not... a little 
even. Fighting gods, I've got a resume. <laughs> oh, sh I like her so much, actually. She's like, hey, I didn't mean actual fighting. You don't draw your sword on the Archon. <laughs> Are you not afraid? No. Might I remind you that this is a duel against the divine? Yeah, well, I sharpened my dull blade. It's kind of a sharp blade now. Still one star, but... What are you trying to do, Traveler? Clorinda. Provoking a god in front of her people? Yeah, of course. I don't care. <clears throat> Stand down, Clorind. Clorind. I admire her bravery. <laughs> have the courage to draw their sword against a god. Uh-huh. She is obviously a true warrior. Well, at least you noticed that. I appreciate it. Uh. <laughs> Unfortunately... People nowadays only crave to be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. <laughs> this is very theatrical. I guess I guess we're in the thick of it. Huh. Yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. Yeah, that's what I thought too. <clears throat> On Aranias, criminals are always On Aranias. duels to defend their honor. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a bit old to tell the truth. Okay, these people are all sheep. What's going on? Then, as the Do god you see? of justice. I'll face this traveler in another kind of I knew duel. I knew it was gonna be some theatrical baloney. Yeah, put me in jail already. Like straight up. I'm all for it. Alright. Now that'll be worth seeing. Yep, sure. Right. This is Fontaine, after all. It's such a grand opera house. It would be a pity not to use it. It's across the nation, bro. Why do you care so much about Ooh, Paimon, careful now. Oh, you're getting in a duel, too. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? <laughs> you mean you're going to put us on trial? Yes, that's definitely what she means. And we haven't committed any crimes. We literally just arrived here. <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, <sighs> isn't it? What is it? Has my brother done something to your nation? According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted <laughs> to release any flying <laughs> object in Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each I'm month. not in the city yet. You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? She's a human being! <laughs> and I am not related! What do you mean? So that's what they've done wrong. Nah, whatever. Mm, that's our lady Farina. Whatever. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. I'm over it. You call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Uh-huh. Wait, flying object? Mm-hmm. <gasps> you mean Paimon? Technically, just being racist. Great Archon you have here, guys. Precisely. Now, if you two have Objection! I was joking. We're actually going to jail. <laughs> We're actually going to jail. My apologies, Lady Farina. Oh, I don't mean to my VIP. Fun, but if you would allow me to interject, I am I am using my what is this called again? Lawyer card. Lo I have two lawyers. Do a magic trick. Teleport. Do put me in the hat or something. I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition oh. of a flying object. Because it lives, right? Stop objectifying my pet. <laughs> someone who's not crazy. How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Flying lavender melon. Ah, great magician Linny, mm -hmm. my beloved citizen. Wow. I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? Paimon is pissed. <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, <laughs> I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. I, was, I thought it said shaving the snow. I'm really out of it. So, with such an audience gathered here, uh -huh. allow me to perform a trick. He's right actually now. teleporting us out with his hat. Snap. He's burning us all. We're dead. <laughs> oh. Ow. I'm in pain. Oh. Nah, but she's actually a pet now. Nah, the- Oh, she's not flying loosely anymore? I'm holding her on a leash. You're making Paimon look like a dog. I'm sorry, that's just- what? What's that on Paimon's back? <laughs> hey, when did you do that? Ah, oh, when he patted you on the back. I see. He knew this would all happen, huh? Damn. So he did pat her on the back. I didn't notice it. <laughs> the little hand. 
I, I did notice this action. It was very hover hand, you know what I mean? There. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. <laughs> this rope has been in the traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. Lenny, thank you. You're a legend. <laughs> you call that magic? <laughs> You've got to be joking. It's not magic. He just said it was there all along. He only revealed something. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> nice one. Thanks, Etienne. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's not charges gonna don't go want to hold jail. water. Not gonna go to jail. What well, now, Lady Farina? Will you be Lady Fury? Yes. Fury, yes. Fury, Fury, yes. Fury, yeah. I get it. Fury, no. She's like, Fury, no. Okay. <laughs> Absolute freak. No. Amusing. Very amusing, Lenny. Just the sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. I can't tell if she's real or not right now. Today's performance can finally be called complete. Okay, that was it. Performance? You see all this as a performance? Yeah, for the public. Maybe she was memeing from the start. Ah, you're too confusing. In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. Awesome. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. Wow, that's so sweet of you. But... When there are valid grounds, mm -hmm. I will not only judge travelers from abroad, mm -hmm. but even the gods of other lands. Ooh, the music had a little... <laughs> I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and <laughs> Miss Lynette. Mr. That's Linny. Toodaloo. You would be... You would say toodaloo. That is such a her thing. She would click really well with Hutel, and her guard, the one I love that looks super cool with the Electrovision, would click insanely well with Sara. Have to. Look at them running away. Oh, she walks slowly. Alright. Thanks for having my back there, Lenny. Yeah. Yeah. I know. She almost put us in jail. Yeah, yeah, well, it's definitely a way to put it. Thanks for bailing us out, Lenny. That was, that was a nice move. Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law. You're so joking. I did a little preparation. This is all a case. setup. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. I don't trust anyone here. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? A bad shit insane one? She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Yeah, confusing is a good way to put it. Is she really that reasonable? Anyway, Paimon had no idea you were a magician, Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing had no at the idea. opera house, right? Wow, you really looked like one, but I was like, maybe you're just like cosplaying or something. <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Mm -hmm. Lynette is my assistant. And she does all the work, just like Einstein and his wife. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine. Wow. The Opera House. Could have printed it in a bit more HD fashion, I feel. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? Both! Oh wait, no, he performs as the criminal trial is happening. When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. <laughs> Lovely. To the people of Fontaine, mm -hmm. the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. That sounds pretty bad. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Sure. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? I'm pretty sure we will be the trial for your performance, so don't worry about it. We'll be there. My brother's always excited to make new friends. Huh, that's sweet. Oh, sure. He did save we our really ass. We have anything to do now, and we wanted to go to the opera house anyway. I would be delighted. Splendid. <laughs> In that case, why don't we go together? Nah, it's kinda I'll cool. show you the way. Oh, I thanks. just have something to take care of first. I know, you did say this earlier, and then we got interrupted by this incredibly sceneristic, to not call it scenic, Archon. Any way I can help? Oh, you really mean it? I told you. Then I'll take you up on your offer. I told you, we love doing little jobs. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Oh, lovely. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. I've got plenty of magic pockets. Every time I put something in it, I lose it. I don't know where it goes, but then my mom can find it. She's really good at that. I think she might be a magician. 
Whoa! This is a you're you're a thief. <laughs> All the shit that's gonna go in there is. What are they going to use it for? To store things in. It's called a pocket. About that. Hmm. Okay. You asked me before about the Spicy. prophecy, right? Mm -hmm. Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I can't wait. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. I, let me guess, the Fatui. It oh. says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. Wow. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Huh. Until one Sounds day, like a way to keep you all levels in Fontaine will rise contained. and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. Okay. In the end, the people will all the be tear, dissolved the into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Uh-huh. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Who made this up? They're insane. Or they just want to wait wipe out wipe out humanity, or like Fontanians. This is the tear that Linny has, if that means that anything. Pretty gloomy. You can say that. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? I don't know. What is that supposed to mean? Their ancestors probably did some messed up shit. What do I know that from? There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors what of Fontaine stole the power of the <laughs> What did I tell you? Wrath. <laughs> yeah. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings ah. and offended Celestia. I hope it's that. That's more interesting. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't Are you been sure? concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. Oh lord, I can see so many different things happening here. First of all, I find it odd that he's saying this. I'm sorry, I'm moving the mouse so much. <laughs> Because uh, the first conversation we had with that woman was like, it's not about being right or wrong, it's about the play or some whatever. Maybe they were, they were just talking about the art, I don't know. We're gonna make the city half sink and then save it again, and but we're gonna be hated at some point. I feel like there's no point in a region that you're not hated. They are xenophobes, always. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Yeah. Why bother feeling guilty all the time? I mean, if there's a good reason to feel the guilt and someone tells you, yeah, I get it, but yeah, kind of siding with Paimon on this. That's exactly what the people did at first. Okay. But in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. Ah, Snezhnaya is melting. But now the water is engulfing our memories. It won't be long before it engulfs us. Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged. And now lie beneath the sea. Learn how to swim like me. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. Uh -huh. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility. Sure. Which would end up sentencing them to death. How about you just leave Fontaine? We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. Yeah, so, sure. So we've started distributing magic pockets to them. Oh, that's cool. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. That's cool. I'm sure they I was going to say to move your stuff. People are moving their belongings. Mini teapots, except you can't go in there. Oh, Hyman gets it. It's like preparing for a rainy <laughs> day. But this is more than a bit of rainy. Oh yeah, that's definitely it's like a rainy day. Uh, you know, you don't you hate when you there's a rainy day so you need to move all your belongings from one house to another and move completely and forgot about your ancient life. Yeah, I do. Always happens. If the prophecy is true, then is there no way to prevent the disaster? Hmm. Build a dam. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. In Elio's script. No, you're right. You're right. Sounds kind of sad. I do feel like when you say only absolute power, would that mean the Archon? Couldn't the Archon do something about it? It's like she wants you to die or something. Also, the Fleur de Lys is right here. Always. Now, if you'd like to help, sure. then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Uh huh. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Will do. Will do, will do. We're actually working already. Like, water's disappearing. Uh, I didn't see the rest. Magic pocket, Lenny style. I got three of them. Did my friends just both leave? Are they gone? Also, unfortunately, this is gone. There was a dog here earlier, and its name was Baguette, and that's not a joke, and I'm mad about it. <laughs> I'm unhappy about it. Oh, is... 
Are you the owner of baguettes? I think he might be. Anyway, Ojul. Ah, so you also believe in the prophecy? Not really. Keep it. I won't have any use. For Better safe than sorry. What? You mean you don't believe in the prophecy? Neither do I, man. No, no, I believe in the prophecy. Ooh. But I also believe in another story. Let's hear it. The story says Member that of people the once lived in the ocean. Uh huh. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. <laughs> okay. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels. Uh huh. Encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Uh -huh. Thus, could people set foot on land? You know that's not too far from the truth if you're talking about people. So, no, pretty sure that's true. Me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going home. You are nuts. Have this bag. <laughs> oh, we hadn't heard that one before. Uh huh. But people can't live underwater. They'll die. <laughs> you should probably still take it. I don't often agree with Paimon, so when I do, it's better you listen. I'd say. Here, have this. <sighs> All right, I'll take it. Good job. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. Very poetic way to look at it, but you'll miss your you'll miss your dog. So just just don't drown, please. Anything else? What do you think? Pretty interesting story, huh? Yeah, y yeah, kinda. It's Yen. Listen up, bud. I know you didn't know I was the champ, but... So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking uh -huh. about. Well, my apologies for not recognizing you earlier. No problem. There's more than one blonde person. I have this bag. Oh, a magic pocket? Uh-huh. Seems you really thought of everything. I mean, it was the magician. I guess it's kid, better but... to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. That's the set. That's the mindset. Thanks. Oh, please. Also thank the magician there on you my go. behalf when of course. you get the chance. Sure. Lovely jubbly, as they say. Oh, by the way, can you do it here? No, you can't. <laughs> it's not yet actually Fontaine. I wanted to show you the underwater. It's very, very cool. Let's see this lady's fit. <laughs> Galate! Wow, that's a pretty French name. I like that. Galate. Pretty old though. I don't want that thing. Have it. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. You're gonna regret saying this when that cutscene hits where the waterfalls go upside down, lady. <laughs> Life is all about living in the moment. Who oh, uses damn. there in worrying about the future Stop this morales, you're probably right. We'll I cross that bridge when we get to it. There won't be a bridge, it'll be submerged, lady. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Besides, if I can, if I may, I know I'm talking a lot, I'm just very excited for Fontaine, but wouldn't this be something you'd want anyway, even if you're not moving? You're like, I don't know, you go grocery shopping, you put everything in this bag, it's nice and compact, you come home, you take it out, it's so nice and easy. Oh, all right, fine. Thanks. It's just that... If I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. Yeah, I understand. I'd really rather not. Totally get it. Totally get it. But still. I really can't imagine what it would be like if things changed. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a whole lot of talk and not a lot of actually believing in what you're saying. Hey, gang. What's oh, up? You already handed out all of the magic pockets? Uh-huh. Hm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? They don't really believe in it. I heard some uh, interesting opinions. <laughs> no kidding. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. <laughs> I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's so quiet about it. He's so like... Yeah, you know, when the meteor does hit Earth, they'll know. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? I don't know. Yes, one last thing. Mm -hmm. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the court of Fontaine. I see. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. Sure. You want to collect materials? Mm -hmm. Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help. Many hands make We need light to gather? Work. Nah. Oh, that would be much appreciated. Nah. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. Ah, oh, but I remember this seeing sounds so them pretty in the French. Waterfront on the east side of the harbor. Romaritime. It's so nice. Romaritime. Maritime means it's from the sea. Um, Lectour. <laughs> 
My man's a French lecture. Lecture, ha ha. Oui. I think I'll be uh, I'll be translating a bunch of the words if you guys care. It's always cute. Oh yeah. I know. I already did. Watch this. Oh, these are special ones. That makes sense. That makes sense. Look, hydrolumine. I'll go stand in the middle here. Ba 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 ba. She's a machine gun. Um, her burst, unfortunately, not that exciting. She's kind of just like, ah, uh, she's like uh, animo, but worse, basically. That's what it feels like so far. Her E is very cool, though. Very fun. Uh, doesn't do a whole lot of damage yet, because she's skill one. Uh, and my, I have, like, barely any crit rate. But I do think her E is very cool. Nothing to do with what I thought, though. I was kind of hoping it'd be crowd control related. She has absolutely no crowd control. But it's really cool, a little pew, 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 pew. I like that. I love the music. I love everything. Lynette, let's talk to Lynette. All right, doesn't change anything. <laughs> made quick work of that. I, I can mean, tell yeah. you're an experienced traveler. I'm an adventurer. I've also an explorer, finished collecting a will. few here. Okay. Maybe next Good job. time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. Wow, the backhanded. Wow. No way. <laughs> she just said Otherwise, no. Here, I may not have any energy left for the performance at the opera house. I respect it. He was like passive aggressive. She was like, no. Nah, bro. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Though the performance is still a long way off. Wow. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the court of Fontaine. Sure. So I mean, back to. to the I've never been there. Before we head to the opera house? Yeah. Good. Paimon wants no. a tour of Fontaine's largest no. city and try. No. Interrupted. <laughs> Wait. Hello. What did Paimon? Wait, have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. She pickpocket? Huh? What's wrong with her? She's a pickpocket. I didn't notice anything. I'm pickpocket, if you will. <laughs> She's obviously yeah. a thief. There you go. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. Distraction. We divert attention and yep. a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. I know, I know, I know. Wow, it's kind of crazy. I know I know a couple things about this and it's not even that Fontaine related, but Watch I feel right at home. Carefully. Uh-huh. Told you, pickpocket. Cute fit though, my lady. It's actually, no way, I predicted this too. I was in the sewers earlier and there was like a whole... Oh, <laughs> not in real life, by the way. <laughs> I was in the sewers in Fontaine, which has sewers, and there's a bunch of people that seem to live there, or at least there is, there's like a Yakuza turtle. I'm sure we'll see it eventually. But I was like, I wonder if there's a thieves guild. And this makes me think there might be a thieves guild. I'm honestly, I'm likely to side with the poor instead of the rich, even if the poor deserve to be where they are. I, I just tend to be siding with the poor. Keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her. Uh -huh. It seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. I mean, I'm a total like numb nut. She won't know, or she'll know I'm from a faraway land. You can you catch her can easily. You can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. Understood. Leave it to me. All right, let's go. I want to see this so bad. This is cool. How unexpected is this? It's forcing me this way. I want to see the girl. Where is she? Where did she even steal from? Why are, how are we standing here? Try to not <laughs> attract, you know, unwanted attention. I'm just sitting here parkouring everywhere. Oh, here. Look, that's Baguette. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Genshin, really? Really? Baguette? You call it that because you want to eat it? Weirdo, Etienne. Wait, it's Etienne as well? Bro, acting like he's my friend. He's about to eat a dog. Not a hot dog either, like an actual regular dog. Don't you like how this doesn't have a loading? You actually have to stand here? It adds. It adds a lot, I feel. But at the same time, it, it is very slow. What do you guys think of Fontaine so far? I really like it. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, look at her face. <laughs> do you also have this? You don't. Yeah, you gotta find something to do in the elevator. Imagine being on this one with someone you don't know. You step in, awkward conversation, and it has to last at least three minutes. All right, which way? This way. Romaritim, Zadra, Chériez, Chérier. This is the spot where Lenny wanted us to wait. Uh huh. I'm waiting. There she is. She's trying to sneak around. Lumine, here. My queen, please. Oh, look, isn't that her? Stop pointing. We're supposed to be stealthy. Time to make the arrest. I mean, can we? Do we have any evidence? She knew. Oh no! Did she notice us? Yes. She started running the other direction. You pointed at her, Paimon. What should we do? Should we chase her? I think we should wait for Linny and Lynette, honestly. Yeah, our job is to block this path. The rest is up to Linny. Uh, you're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. 
Yeah, let's just stand here. You wait, but there's no sign of the thief. Maybe she got what caught. What has happened for a while now? Lima wonders if Lenny caught the thief. I don't know. Seems there's no reason for us to stay here. Let's go find Lenny. I yeah, bet she's still waiting go. there. This is how we let her slip. Sadra. Um, I find it so cool. Oh, this The outfits are so... Oh, Jesus, sorry, madam. <laughs> the outfits are so pretty. I really like how this lady looks. And look, there's cute little cats. Little white cat. But also, this dog. I think this is such... So much cuter of a dog. Also, you can catch these with the nets. I did it before with a different one. Uh, you can just steal the dog. <laughs> so if you want the white dog, they're very cute. I think you could probably steal the cat too. I hope it's not yours, Hermosa. Which definitely is a very French name. Wow. The cat doesn't work. Sorry, cat lovers. You're getting scammed. Dog lovers, you're in luck though. Maybe you're not supposed to be able to steal those. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it is a glitch in the matrix. All right, here they are. Hey, they're talking to me. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. Why are they taking so long? N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Yeah, that's that's their job. Anyway, I should be going now. <laughs> Thanks again. Sorry guys, I have a lecture <laughs> somewhere else. Take care, Arthur oh, Lecture. Were you returning with the thief at Stolen? But so they caught her? That's right. Pity I wasn't oh. able to catch her. Ah, I see. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked Rookie back, mistake. she was already gone. Rookie mistake, Linny. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, <laughs> and I needed to make sure he was okay. That's so unlucky, man. Wow. Oh, Can't believe that did happened. You get hurt, Linny? Yeah, but not enough to not be able to do the performance. I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. Use some magic on it. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing <laughs> it. <laughs> Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. I know. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. Ah, good brother-sister chemistry. It's kind of <sighs> cute. I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. Uh-huh. What a nice scenery. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so yep. it wasn't a complete failure. Fair. What a slippery little thief! That's what they Doesn't do. Things turned out all right in the end, though. Lenny's initiative paid off! You know where she went, the underground, for sure. All right, let's put this little detour behind us. Yes. We should go to the court of Fontaine Another now. detour. You know how people say that I always get distracted? I mean, I say it myself, too, but people always get distracted doing the story. The story is getting distracted from doing the story. What does one do? Oh, Paimon popped out of there. I got healed. I do find this crazy. You can see the tree from here. I wonder... It's weird that no one talked about it. I did the world quest. They must have seen the tree bloom again. It definitely wasn't like that before. It was like a big scar in the sky. Anyway. Oh, here we go. This is kind of cool. I did take this earlier as well. There's a whole lot of, whole lot of talking. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, backflip. Nice backflip, Paimon. Where's that rope, huh? Where'd it go? So, we ride this thing to go yeah. into the city? Mm-hmm. What an ingenious way to get around. I know. People in Fontaine really know how to use water. I was on about those, those like, rail things from the summer event, and I guess this is better, and it looks nicer. This Waterways. is an aquabus. aquabus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. It's really cool. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. Yeah. The scenery is always the same. Sure. That's why it's better to travel with friends. Real facts. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? No. Uh, no, that's not what <laughs> I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. Oh, uh, change that to a yes. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. This is fair. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Nah, Lynette, don't be like this. Don't be like this. You know he didn't mean it like that. That's what it's like to be an older brother. Yeah. We're giggling. I'm giggling. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Oh, please. Let's get on board. Please don't make me talk to the cat girl again, because then I have to grab the Oculus or m m magically work my way around it. Oh. Hey! Look at her. No way. Did we... Did she get on? Hey, what's up? Huh? Yup. I forgot her name too. <laughs> what? 
Charlotte. I did not remember it was Charlotte. Charlotte of Fraise. I said that a million times. What's up? <laughs> Hello. Oh, I never guessed I'd bump into you while riding the aqua bus. You are right in time. Story of my life. This is big news. Yup. What are you doing in Fontaine? I didn't hear anything about you paying us a visit. I'll be here for a whole last year. I'll solve all your problems and probably make more in the meantime. Yeah, it's quite the coincidence. But as travelers, we're always on the move. It's not surprising <laughs> that nobody knew we were coming. You know, I'm not allowed to... Like, if I don't click, it's gonna go by itself because it wants to be done with a dialogue before we make it to our target destination. So it's just like actually autoing without... Uh, Look, I didn't click oh, anything. And no it's not on auto. Stop it. Oh, Lampyman introduce you to our new friend. There's no way they don't know each other. Oh, no need for introductions, Paimon. Yeah. I would recognize the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette anywhere. Of course they would. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. It's and they know to about you. you too. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. We read all your all your papers. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? Mm hmm We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. See? They're homies, I knew it. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, cute. <sighs> now that everyone knows Look at the other, background, man. The king suddenly doesn't feel like it. such an unfamiliar place. That is true. That is true. Just knowing so, Charlotte helps. What have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? Anything? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. Oh, well, we're almost in one of those. <laughs> you can still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle. Clickbaiting, huh? the same old topics. Yeah, I know what you're saying. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships. <gasps> or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. W w one single piece of bread for five days? That would definitely get my attention, but that's not really kind of news you're after. Ah, oh, you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. Of course. What I'm really after <clears throat> is exclusive, sensational Scoops. news that could shake the country. <laughs> These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Have you heard of the prophecy? <laughs> oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Uh huh. Well, a series of cases. Actually. I see. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? How is this the first time we hear of it? I feel like we would have, should have. Right. Oh my These god. stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. That sounds awful. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird. <laughs> oh, when that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. All right. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. <laughs> Yeah. Appearances of young women case. You mean the culprit hasn't been found? Or the young women, probably. That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20, 20 years, years And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. How long? What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age, and that they've all vanished without a trace. Who is sacrificing young girls to keep eternal life? But the scariest part it's the is that to this day... None of the girls have ever been found. I don't like this. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case. But uh -huh. shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. <laughs> what the hell? I do not feel safe in Fontaine anymore. Because I am a young girl. I guess I'm 500 years old, maybe. I don't know. In my alien years. Then there must be more than one criminal at work. Maybe they are copycat criminals? Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, to be. the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. I didn't word it right. Yeah. I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. Mm -hmm. I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. She's gonna be shy. Are you gonna be shy? You don't even, you're just, what are you gonna say? Please don't imagine that, Linny. <laughs> this is my favorite village, by the way, in Fulton. Oh! You continue talking on the Aqua Bus, and before you know it, you arrive, you are arriving at your destination. I think I may have done this exact trip before. Hey! We're almost there! Look! I'm looking! We're so far still, actually. Are we gonna slowly scoot in? Oh. How are you keeping track with the boat? I feel like you, <laughs> you would be sliding away. Yep. Yeah, it's cool, all right. Look at us go. 
this is beautiful as well. Kind of reminds me of Breath of the Wild. If anyone's played that. The place with all the fish people. <laughs> Standing there so proudly. Also, I love the new fauna and flora, by the way. Big gardens. Also very Elysee-like, you know? No. Definitely how I feel right now. Like, aww. Slow down! We're gonna hit the wall! <laughs> I like how they cut away because they didn't want to slowly fade to slow. Oh, I really enjoyed chatting with you. Uh-huh. Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this. Life is full of pleasant little surprises like that. Yeah, us as well. The ride went by too quickly. Yeah, riding with friends is so much more fun. Oh, I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. Alright, bye bye. Okay. Hyman hopes we can chat again soon, Charlotte. See ya! Take care. <laughs> bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steamboat when you I love how you always have to say bye six times because everyone always adds like a little bit at the end. Okay, bye. All right, but don't forget, see me. Bye bye. Take care. Okay. Oh, yeah. And by the way, uh, we'll call each other. Yep. Yep. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and she's not even running. What a nah. Tough job. Always running around nope. and walking. interviewing everyone. Walking around. <sighs> well, where should we go now? The Fontaine, 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 Fontaine. If you don't mind. How about we stop by my home first? Oh. Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Yeah, we need some rest and some food. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway. Yeah, I explored it without a map and it was way more fun. They had so many recipes. They had like Ile Flottante, Madeleine, they had uh, lasagna for some reason. <laughs> Fish and chips, very French, very French. Yeah, this looks amazing. I like this a lot. Very cool, very nice. Look at this, man, look at it! It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. It's so new. It's everything I wanted from Fontaine. Hey, Soloist's Prologue, quest completed! The City of Rains and Remembrance. Go to where Linnea is. Look at this. Look at this place, man. And a little music. It's beautiful. Yeah, huge fan. Um, one thing that was interesting. Lovey. That's kind of cute name. I, I do feel way more at home here. It makes sense, right? It's the culture where I grew up in. So, it makes sense. Although, never in a town like this. And also not so steampunky. Look at this. Louis, man. It does not get more stereotypical than Louis. Look what he sells. Pat de fruit. Fanta. I'm buying all the Fanta I can find. It's Fontaine. I'm saying it the American way too now. It's Fontaine Fanta. Fanta. <laughs> fish and chips. Here you can get garlic baguettes. Fontanian onion soup. Fish and chips and pâte de fruits. Pâte de fruits is, um, it's, uh, honestly, it's kind of like fruit paste, literally translated. It's like, old people eat it a lot. <laughs> I don't think the youth eats this it anymore. This is our current abode. Well, it looks like you uh, earn your money pretty well, and I see an incredibly scenic chest over there. Ah, Fremenet. Your home. Fremenet. Where did everyone else go? Hello. I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. Okay. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. <laughs> I see. All right, lovely. Everyone is getting busier now that Mika Father Schmidt will be Edgelord over soon. here. I suppose that can't be helped. No. Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremen. You're all he family. Is a phenomenal diver. Okay. Uh, hello. Hey, dude. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the traveler. Yeah. Oh. Very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. Yeah, the Linny family sure seems to be big. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? People are gonna love this guy because he's so monotone and like sad, sad girl bathtub vibes. Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? Fremine. It's alright. You go ahead. Alright. We're still listening, by the way. Kind of rude of us. Hmm. Okay, I see. They can hear each other with the cat ears. Wait, does Lydia have cat ears as well? Everything all right? Wait. Do you also have cat ears? Where are your cat ears? Oh, it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Mm. Sorry for the interruption. I do not believe that. Oh, before I forget, the traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremenet? He's got very pretty eyes, though. 
And of course, Freckles, super cute, always. Yes, I went diving and gathered lots of materials. Yes. I was about to give them to you. I was going to give you everything. I bet my backstory is very sad as well. That's our Fremenay. Always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. I got my days when I'm very monotone, but <laughs> I try not let it be this bad. <laughs> Pretty scene. Oh! Someone's about to be kidnapped and the water's gonna rise. Her name is Mint in French. Mont. I've ran past it a couple times. <laughs> my man's forgot his umbrella. Quick, go indoors. Mm, looks like rain. <laughs> yes, you would in fact be right. Oh, hmm. it's back to being sunny. Weather sure is weird. You know that this is actually what happens, though. That, that's not a joke. During the entire summer here, you have it's, it can be clear and sunny, and within five minutes it will rain, then it'll be sunny again. It will be it will, it will rain and be sunny, and then it'll be fully clear again for the rest of the day until the nighttime, and it'll rain again. This actually happens. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. Mm, I feel like all these things are tying into each other, huh? The trials, the kidnapping girls, the water level rising. <sighs> now, you're in your element, though. Hmm? What's wrong, Fremenet? Fremenet? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. Okay, let's hear it. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Ha uh ha! -huh. Though we don't know where the dragon went. Every time it weeps, the skies will cloud Beautiful up music. and pour out rain. Yeah. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. That's why you have so little voice remaining. Hydro Dragon. Hydro Dragon. Don't cry. That's kind of cute. Could that Hydro Dragon be the Elemental Dragon of Fontaine? Huh. Another one of the Elemental Dragons of Tevat. If it's an Elemental Dragon, then how Make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. We've seen what that one could do with Nihita. Hmm. Let Paimon try something. <laughs> okay. Hydro <laughs> Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! <laughs> uh. hmm? It didn't really work, Paimon. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend, after all. Are you talking about me? Yeah, I'm a legend. Oh, you know, the story. You might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. She's right. Or could at least play along. She's right. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. Maybe. After some time, the rain stops. Good. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. The light's so pretty here, oh. too. It's already getting late. I know. We're gonna sleep here, aren't we? Was there something you needed to do, Linny? Drop off the materials at the craftsman. Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. Oh. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. Put us in a little bag. Teleport us. Do something. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Arrhenius. I'll Arrhenius. have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Alright, sounds good. You go ahead. See you at the performance. Oh, uh, are you leaving now? Yes. What is it, Fremenet? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I hmm. get it. <laughs> you feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? I would be too, I get it. Perhaps we could trouble the traveler to no, help us take I'm these materials also scared. to the Beaumont workshop and Beaumont. deliver them to the owner there? Mais oui, évidemment. I'm afraid that Fremenet can be quite introverted. I feel you, man. And the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. I get it. Fremenet has always been a little afraid of her. She's really cool. If it's the smith, I love her. No trouble at all. Don't worry, we're on the case. I'm also introvert. Don't worry, I get you, Fremenet. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to You're not. Tasks. You'll get used to it. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. There's no need. <laughs> oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. That, there's no need to say that either. Oh, dude, we walked into this shit easy. You're a fucking noob. Magic pocket material. That's cool. That's cool. Thanks again, you two. No worries. I really can't deal with that lady. I think if she's the stereotypical kind of person that I expect, it's gonna be funny. But I saw her and her smith area, and it's so cool. Here, look. Mint. Told you. Dude, I know Fulton like the back of my pocket. Which I don't know very well. I actually know Fulton better than the back of my pocket, and I've had the back of my pocket for 100,000 years. 
Actually, it's the back of my hand. Le fond de ma poche is the bottom of my pocket, and that's the French term for it. Okay, I think it's a different Smith. No, it isn't. Estelle! Estelle. Dude, your music career plundered, pl plummeted. Is there anyone here? So now you're just a Smith, huh? And if in a minute, like the CLA. Oh, hello there. New customers? Yeah. Looking to buy, or do you need something made? I like or her. Perhaps you're just looking for a chat with me. Yeah, I'm looking for a chat. I like this one. Honestly, I like her a lot. Oh, no. We're just here to deliver some materials. Here they are. Magic and pockets. Oh. Uh, hey. What were they called again? Maybe that is the reference. I was saying the back of my hand is in French is the bottom of my pocket. Magic pockets, which doesn't have an end, I think. Ah, these must be for magic pockets. Yeah. I could tell right away. I've already made several orders worth now. Do we need to pay? No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be using them for, I even offered them a discount. All right. Sounds nice. But they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I had a business to run. They're right. <laughs> it seems both their hearts and their pockets are made gold. <laughs> That's kind of sweet and like, uh, yeah, whatever. It's sweet. I think it's wow. sweet. Loaded? Yep. Mm, I can't say for sure, but who knows? Maybe there's good money to be made being a magician in Fontaine. Hey, it's kind of like you're a magician because you're like, where's my heart? <laughs> wow. Hey, is this I'm a wordsmith. You used to make stuff here? It looks no. Really advanced. It's, it lifts and it punches and it doesn't flatten at all. It doesn't really work well. Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? True! It would be a waste not to use the latest technology. True! Wasting is a kind of crime. <laughs> Why'd you say- Wasting is a kind of crime. You sound like you're AI. Hey, AI is not fair, though. But where does a big machine like that get its power from? Uh, water. Actually, hydraulics. Ah, uh, well- That makes sense. It's a little complicated. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you. Do it in real scientist terms, I'll know. But basically, everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnidium. Okay. It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. Haha. <laughs> it's starting to seem more like Sumeru already, using the dreams to power things. Huh? How can trials produce energy? We grab the stress of people and the fear and turn it into energy. Wow. I'm not completely sure of all the details myself. I want to hear this. But basically... Please don't get cut off. When a trial okay. is in session, the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale... Not bad! Justice, Yo! ...and it into energy to be used all around Fontaine. Estelle? I don't know who voiced Estelle. You slay. That was not bad at all. Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale. Hey. So that's what its other function is? I didn't read what she said because of that. I was just too impressed by how she pronounced it well. <laughs> but Paimon still doesn't get it. How could something unreliable like people's beliefs be turned into a stable power source for these machines? The gods rely on belief to obtain power is so true, but just in like the first place already. This is so true on so many layers. You know what? Fontaine is like Shrek. I said it the American way again. by belief and turn it into power for all of Fontaine, right? Apparently. Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way before, <laughs> it sounds like it makes sense. Before. Besides indemnidium, we have another type of energy called Numusia. Oh, I've, I've read about these two. During a dialogue with a random NPC, they were talking... Oh, no, wait, actually. There's one of the, uh, the bosses for materials that you need for Lynette's. They talk about both of these. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon. Or one but of the it two. It's unstable by nature. Even ah. now, it still cannot be widely used by civilians. But those bosses are made of it. I thought I'd find you hard at work. But here you are chatting the day away. Since you're already talking, I'm sure you wouldn't mind a confrérie. Yo, Truon. Okay, uh, uh, Truon. I don't know if that's his name supposedly, but a Truon is like I, I don't know. This isn't the right term, but basically a bandit. And confrérie is brotherhood. Confrérie of Cabrières. Enforcer. Hard to wear, okay. Y you again? Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the more I owe to Conferee of Cabriere by next She month? went American on it, unfortunately. Why are you hounding me now? Yeah, but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month? <laughs> this dude. <laughs> I want 50% today. Wait, no? 70%. Bring it on paper, otherwise I don't believe it. I can pay, actually. I can forward it, don't worry. How much do you owe? You. You bitch. Seems 
business isn't so great for the workshop. I'm gonna beat them up, We've aren't I? We've already finished our job and delivered the materials. No. Maybe now's a good time to leave. Hell no! It does not sound like a usual case of someone owning someone money, owing. There's what? Hey, hold on. What? Before you go around trying to collect payments, why don't you settle your own debts first? Hey, you are also a debt collector, though. What are you doing here? If Confrere of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. He's back. But I'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty sum of more. Wow. So why don't we work things out between us first before you get back to your little conversation? Child here. is here. Child. I mean, it has been a while. The last time was like Jiggly Child and Inazuma. That's way over a year ago. That's all right. Ah, uh, sure. You're from uh, Northland Bank. <laughs> but <we're> <laughs> the irony. Pay everything we owe now. Nah, shut up. You're hounding me now. Nah, shut up. Hey, child. Uh, traveler, Paimon. <laughs> I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. What are the chances? <laughs> They're pretty slim. This is very unexpected. What the hell? I didn't even know he returned. We sure seem to have run into a lot of friends today. <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now. Really? And honestly, things have been pretty boring. Oh, well, that's kind of good in a way, no? But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. <laughs> Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. You know, I've never really been into following the voice actors as well, but I know a lot of people do. And Child's voice actor is one that's always involved in memes. So I actually know what Child's voice actor looks like. And I, I completely see him when I hear the voice. And it doesn't remind me of Child at all anymore. So it feels like it's just fake right now. But I do like Child more because I like the voice actor a lot. Either way you look at it, it seems things are going to get a lot more interesting now. I also find it so funny that there's two people fighting for money in the background. And suddenly we're just, we're catching up like old friends right now. We'd want to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. <laughs> Besides, our trip here has gone pretty well so far. Yeah, right, I think we've already weathered enough storms for now. I don't mind a little excitement every now and then. Uh, uh, sure, sure. Uh, hey, you, Northland Bank boy. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? You should have been running, Truant. Don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the trap. <laughs> Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? Oh my god, alright, alright. You're gaining points, child. Kinda like you right now. Uh, you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle yes. our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Friends? Listen to me, boy. Boy. If you want your mora? Fine. <laughs> Why don't you come and take it? Okay, let's beat them up together. Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, uh -huh. the last time I took Tonya and Tuser ice fishing, Tuser said... Oh god, not about a pinky promise on the ice, right? Hey! <laughs> over the line! All right, hey. Let's see who has to pay up now! Why was he scared and not... Alright. Uh, can you at least let me finish one sentence? <laughs> Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients... I can do it. You're the ones who started it. Okay. This is an act of self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> you two will have to be my witnesses, okay? Okay, sure. They're all yours. Uh, I'm sure this won't take long. Yeah, I'm convinced too. Do we get a cutscene or just fade to what? Okay. Oh! Oh! Wah, wah, wah. Can you guys believe I have child? Look. <laughs> I have him. There is a plan, okay? There is a plan in the works. Brace yourself. This Yeet. Is gonna hurt. They're all dead. We've killed them. We've murdered them. The music didn't even get to kick What's off. What's your deal, Brad? How are you so strong if you're just a staffer from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank? Oh. Wait. Don't tell me you're... He is. Oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Just make sure you understand that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Got it? Got it? Son? Boy? Wow, so cool. Uh, huh? Oh. Oh. Did he just break the law and his vision stopped? Is he gonna- Oh my god, is child gonna be on trial? Uh-oh. I'm in shock. Now's my chance! What? You probably still don't win. <laughs> Bro! Bro! <laughs> huh. That was weird. <laughs> He ran up and got knocked out in one punch, and my girl left as well? 
What, what just happened? You okay? I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my <laughs> hydro powers away. when I needed them. <laughs> Maybe there's something wrong with my vision? <laughs> nah. I don't think it's your vision. Strange. How could that happen? Ooh. First time Paimon's ever heard of someone losing True. control of their vision. Maybe this is how they get the power to function the city. Whenever you use your powers in the city, it's, it's draining your vision. That's how they create that energy. Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. Oh. Besides, I always have. Oh, my I was gonna say. I need it. No, don't use your delusion. That shit. That shit kills. Don't so do it. Doing fun pain, child? Don't do it. I don't see its work for ah, my day. heart's. Ah, oh, tepe. Ah, oh, tepe. Oh. I'm actually holding the right side of my chest, which isn't where my heart is. Uh, which you you can tell that I'm role playing. I did not really feel that bad for tepe, but it did remind me of him, and I do feel sad about it. Well. I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. Why is that? What did Tuser say? Huh? What kind of reason is that? Wait, since when do you feel down about anything? <laughs> Tuser. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I still have a lot to learn about myself. Uh huh. But recently, there seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. Wow. And I don't know why, but every now and then I feel like I'm in a terrible mood. Damn, I get that too. Control of your vision just now is connected with that power you're feeling inside. This sounds like it could be some crazy twist as well. They're they're giving us a lot of thread and no direction, so we can we can start. I'm really trying to make this a metaphor. You can we can start. We can what do you call it when you make something with thread and needle? We can crochet. That's not it. Sure, we can crochet our own path. It was gonna sound way more cool and poetic and romantic, but it just sounded kind of shit. Hmm. That is a possibility. So, about this power, any idea where it came from? I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was 14, I fell into some unknown abyss. Yeah, I remember when you told us about when you were 14. It was during that time I learned nearly all of my uh, abilities. My eyes! The one who took me under her wing and taught me was named Skirk. Skirk? Dude, she has a spaceship, Captain Skirk. She was always quiet and very mysterious. Uh-huh. Nobody knew where she came from or what she had been through. I see. And she was always very strict when teaching me combat techniques. Okay. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was... Please don't be interrupted again. Because I had awakened it. Oh, God. And traces of it remained on me. Oh, no. She said that all my combat training would be useful in the future. So you're like the nine-tailed fox. You're like Naruto, dude. But That's the one anime it? reference I know. What did you awaken? The nine-tailed fox. She never explained that. But my guess is that it's related to a dream I saw when I had just fallen into that abyss. Okay, tell us about the dream. In my dream, I was in the deepest depths of the sea. That's gonna happen and soon. And the boundless seabed was all around me. Uh-huh. But in front of me appeared a whale Ooh. that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. That's kind of hype. I mean, the big whale. Not that you couldn't breathe. That sucks. A whale? Oh, that sounds familiar! When we fought against you before, Ooh, you said that's a true. huge whale that seemed to leap at us. <laughs> that's that that true. <laughs> that's just an oh, abstract do the whale sound. that I create using my elemental powers. Child, do the whale sound. Child. Child. And then he just like just speaks English. He's like, haha, get it? Or he does the he does like the cashier sound effect. Haha, <laughs> nice one, child. I get it. It's funny because whales, because they spend money on the game. It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. Damn. I'll never forget it. I'm sorry to hear that. So you used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? Apparently. Huh. Seems a little twisted to Paimon. Very possible that the power inside you is connected to the incident in the abyss. So you just go ask your master. I don't Maybe think she's there the anymore. Answer. I think the master's long gone, Paimon. You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, I've never stopped searching for Master Skirk and that unknown abyss. Yeah. But it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. Mm -hmm. There isn't even a trace of the place where I remember falling into the abyss. Okay. Oh, Maybe it's all psychological. Like some kind of ghost story. It does sound kind of creepy. But you know what? This makes me very interested in your lore. Yeah, I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. Fair. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. You know, it's a small, small world is what they say. Oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. Uh-huh. 
I just Stop remembered I have somewhere me. else I need to be. So I should get going. All right, Ed. Wait, more work for the Northland Bank? Yes. Uh, no. Oh. It's more of a personal appointment. Okay. Lately, I've been sparring with some of oh. Fontaine's official champion duelists whenever I'm feeling bored. Okay. In card game or what? Official champion duelists? You mean it's their job to duel? Yeah, like gladiators. Yep. In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, they're given one chance to defend their honor by requesting oh. a duel with an official champion duelist. Oh, easy. The champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from Oh, we'll never go to jail, guys. Don't worry about best. it. And the duel Look, itself a scale. is a no-holds-barred fight with no specified stopping point. Death is the stopping point. So engaging in such a duel is regarded as a symbol of defending your honor. I see. If a criminal manages to win the duel, they'll be acquitted. <laughs> what but the if hell? they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. So, it's- what? That's so stupid. If you win, you're free. If you lose, you just get the same punishment. It's not worse. This place is weird. <laughs> and the worst case scenario is that you're simply killed in the duel. I guess that makes more sense to the bigger punishments. Though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty. From what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. All right. So really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused, okay. or those who greatly value their honor. I see. Otherwise, why gamble with your life? Yeah, I guess. So, do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? No one yet. Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. I see. Fontaine probably enacted this system as a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that has to... I definitely would feel like they respect me if I had a choice to fight for my life before getting on trial, yeah. Besides, none of the champion He's duelists are to be trifled with. <laughs> which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Can you give us names? Apparently the one I'm meeting today. There you go, I knew is it. the strongest of the champion I knew, duelists. I literally knew it. I had been asking her for some time before she finally agreed to She's face She's pretty. Today. She's really cool. Wow. I knew it. Before. It was obvious, to be fair. Well, like, ran. yeah, we met the yeah. Hydra Archon. Oh, before I forget, I want you to have this. Gives us a nut. <laughs> These nuts. Oh, a delusion. Huh? Oh. Your vision? What? You're seriously just giving it away? Maybe people would get sus of us if we didn't have a vision. I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. Okay. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. So. I think I'll be better off without it for now. So it's not even for us, it's for you. Why'd you put it like you're doing this for us? Besides, I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. Right. I'll come retrieve it when I have some time later. We're about to hold an illegal item and get jailed. The way- the reason it stopped is because it was used illegally, and we're gonna get jailed for it now. Paimon knows what you're up to. You just want an excuse to come talk to us again, don't I don't you? trust him either. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? I'll be in touch run. later. At least run. I'll be in touch later. No, you mean, I'll be in touch. Later. Yeah, he's leaving. <laughs> that sneaky guy. I want to bury this he thing. He's been feeling down lately, but he seemed the same as ever to Paimon. Sure. Why are we sad? <sighs> well, since we don't have much to do for now. Uh-huh. We might as well walk around and see the city before Lenny's performance. <sighs> I feel something bad's cooking. Under Paimon's enthusiastic leadership, you walk around the court. Cour, Cour of Fontaine. It's hard, man. It's hard to keep switching back and forth. I've seen that coming. The reporter who was barely around for most of the story was the murderer all along. Hey, don't blurt it out, Paimon. It's rude to spoil the mystery for everybody else. Uh, sorry. Paimon was just surprised, that's all. Uh-huh. <sighs> Paimon never saw that twist coming. The murder mystery novels here are amazing. Never thought I'd see the day Paimon would enjoy reading. Do you have any idea of how long we were loitering here? So stereotypical. Bruh. Both have their merits, but Paimon thinks this style of novels are more, well, novel. Uh huh. It's so exciting. French to literature. The when the mystery is uncovered, especially in the one Paimon was just reading. Stop you spoiling. Buy a copy and read it too. I actually already did. I even bought some books, and it's really cool because there's Tales of Fontaine, which obviously is a a a link to Fable de la Fontaine. I thought that was very cool. I'm good. You already spoiled who the murderer is. Oh. Be more careful next time. Yeah, I know. Uh, 
I hang out on X, the social media, and you can see that on X people spoil it all the time. Yeah. Sure. Sounds good to me. So loud. It's a it's a kilometer away. I need to get some dinner too though, because it's been many days and many nights without rest. Fortunately, I forgot to unlock the waypoint. Fortunately, I can go to Marcotte Station and uh, we'll be there in a second. What did I mark here? Go here. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright, see you in a little bit. This is amazing though. Having a lot of fun. I hope you are too. Oh, actually, before I forget, I need to um, queue up commissions. Can I do in Fontaine yet? When do you unlock this in Fontaine? Maybe after Act 1? Alright, well then, we need to get back on the grind. It's very late. <laughs> it's about 10, but uh, in this world, it looks nice and beautiful, like the start of the day. So let's keep going here. I love how Lynette's E is kind of like Yelan's. I'm um, obviously, as you know, a huge fan of movement abilities, and this definitely has some movement on it. You can even get two charges long term, but uh, I'm okay with this so far. Back into it. Ooh, another wolf. Whoa, this was like a golden Labrador. This was kind of kind of nice. Yoink. <laughs> Amber hunting hound. It does not look like a hunting hound. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that looks like a, a very nice, kind, and quiet dog. It would just bonk me when I got home from school. That's the only thing it would do. There's a Gramps being held accountable for drinking late at night. To jail you go, my good sir. You think I can steal this dog? No way I can steal one of these. Okay. This dog cannot be captured. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Here we go. Waypoint for uh, exploration, I guess, as well. And I don't want to grab this. Look at how cool this looks, man. And the music is popping off. This fountain is actually the equivalent of the onion in Fontaine. Uh-huh. Wow, l'opéra épiclès. C.A.P. Yeah, it's pretty. It's like gig oversaturated right now, I feel, but... Looks like there's a lot of people standing around the fountain up ahead. Throw some coins in. Oh, Archon. Please bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. Julio. <laughs> Julio sounds like a farmer boy. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. Wow, so cute. <laughs> I guess if they Wow. Okay, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. What a cute little hug. He pulled her closer. Wow, actual hugs in Genshin, kind of. It sure is. There are a lot of couples here. I've, what, why are you shrugging? Listen, I'm not dating anyone. I don't, I don't relate. What's going on here? I'm a little animal. It's like shaking. Vache. Vache. Cow. Oh my god. No, none of this trippy shit already, bro. What's wrong? Yeah, she said cow man. Vache. Vache. Cow, cow. I mean, I don't know what it would say. Did you just say something, Paimon? No. Are you hearing things? Strange. Whose voice was that? Yes, I am, in fact. I'm sorry that I'm ignoring you. Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. All the water Am I hearing Lucene, perhaps? Is that a person? Here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. Wish for children, but they will they wish for a healthy child. <gasps> Lynette! You scared Pine! <laughs> Why did you get here? I, I, this over-exaggerated reaction is always, you don't need to scream when someone just is mm. there. Lenny asked me to wait here for you, remember? No. <sighs> I don't, it's been right. hours, actually. Uh, by the way, Lynette, it seemed I heard a faint voice just now. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. It seemed as if the voice was coming from the fountain? <gasps> hey, you're not trying to scare Paimon, are you? It's not even nighttime. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's not the time for eerie things. It's not the time to be scared for potential eerie things. Hmm, I see. I might be able to tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. Please do, before we go on another crazy arc. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you ah. heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Look at that. Others Why in my family have had similar experiences. Uh-huh, okay. It's because of her sensitivity to the hydro element? You know me. But what would hearing the voice have to do with elemental power? I love water. Take a sip. Stay hydrated. It's been hours. Mmm. <laughs> when do you cry, Paimon? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Paimon doesn't cry. Paimon cries when she's happy, when she's sad, when she doesn't get her food. So angry, I guess. Wait. What? What does that have to do with 
anything. Hydro, tears, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Just answer me. When do you cry? Okay, here's a really big lore plot. Lore point is about to get dropped. Pay attention. Hmm. Uh, when Paimon's really sad? Mm hmm Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Mm hmm Oh, and also when Paimon's really, really scared. Mm hmm Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense emotions. <laughs> okay. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Uh-huh. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. I see. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. Hmm. Interesting explanation. Not sure whether I buy it, though. So, what did the voice say? It seemed to be calling out someone's name. Huh. If you were hearing their emotions, then I'm on what happened to them. Vashé. <laughs> Rather than worrying about them, uh -huh. we should worry about my brother first. Oh, why? Is his foot still broken? Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. Wow. So chatting with Linny might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. Sure. Your face is very pale right now. It's like a flashbang oh, to me. right. That makes sense. Let's go in and see Linny. Okay. Deal. You teleported me or? No, I'm walking. I love how these little these little characters walk. They actually, they're like Animal Crossing characters. Hey, guys. Please grant us a healthy and wise child. You're asking for two things. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. I won't ask for intelligence or talent, but please, may our child leave a piss peaceful life. Peaceful life. Uh, honey, is it just me, or did you ask for more than I did somehow? Fair. Shh, you'll jinx it! <laughs> What's so excessive about asking our child will grow up well? That's what I'm saying, and just in light of that prophecy... Ah, right, that's true. But it's just a legend, and not something that will happen for sure, right? I don't know, but let me get some yeah. coins, baby! Mora, give me the Mora! That's the one big mora right there. Uh, it is said to bring bad luck and also to be illegal. Munyat. Nice. Munyat. Very French. <laughs> to grab coins, but I'm not sure if that's a myth eater. Vimeur. Herbier. Herb guy. He's the herb guy. Herbier. <laughs> Banger name, dude. Luzerne. Luzerne is pretty. Pretty cool. Aif. Entering the Oprah House. I love the logo. The Fontaine logo. It's actually one of the things I look forward to every time. What a new region. Hey, boy. What's up, boy? Ah, Traveler and Paimon. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. I knew you two would come. Oh, you kind of forced us. Are you kidding? We wouldn't miss it for the world. We've been looking forward to it. Yes, truly. <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. Uh-huh. But you're actually right on time. So the we're not early. still hasn't early. started entering the venue yet. Which means best now seats. is the yeah. perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Lovely. Wait just a moment. I'll fetch the tickets. So I got a, I get free tickets as well. Free seats. That's huge, dude. I don't even have to pay. Paimon's so excited. And I'm talking. And Lynette's talking. We're all talking. This is great. I'm the picture was happening. The Opera House has a sign seating, so you okay. always have to make reservations. I see. I've already reserved your seats. And here are your tickets. Hmm. You didn't have to do this days in advance? Ooh, front row seat! Thanks, Linny! <laughs> Thanks! Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Uh, well, I think it's only polite. Oh. Hey, Linny! <laughs> would you come over here and take a look at this? <laughs> My dude's walk. <laughs> He's running oh, in the room. I'll be right there. Please run away as well. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's Cowl, my assistant, calling me. Cowl. I'll go lend him a hand. Simon freaking Cowl. Hate Simon Cowl. No. no. <laughs> sure, best get busy. Yeah, we'll just go to our seats. You go ahead, Lenny. Aw, uh, we don't get to see him run, man. It does feel kind of cat. It feels cool that I'm running around like this. It feels kind of cat. Wait. Oh, it's down. Kind of wants to take the stairs up. Can you glide in areas like this? We are indoors. I think you can glide so you just can't climb. Surprise! Surprise! Quite a surprise, let me tell you. Maybe these... They... Maybe these don't even open? Whoa. <laughs> ah, this is the rich person experience right now. Although, actually, it isn't. Weirdly enough, as... Like, the, the look to the stage is way cooler from up here. But the more expensive seats are the front ones, I assume, anyway. Or probably on the side there, actually. That's probably a VIP lounge. Who's that? Come on, let's sit down. 
is that Focalors or whatever? What's his name again? Oh no, Neviet. I think Neviet maybe. Question mark is silent. Yeah, I think it's him. Is it? What? Just start small talk. <laughs> the echo. Say something. Hey, traveler. Maybe we should strike up a conversation with the person next to us. <laughs> I agree. Since we're sitting together and the rest of the place is practically empty still. Uh-huh. It's kind of awkward if we don't say anything. You're up, Paimon. Uh, you little... You little what? Of course you put this on Paimon. You're the talking one. We've had this discussion today. Excuse me. I did not realize you felt awkward. I am terribly sorry. That's not your fault. We kind of made it awkward. I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. Yeah, let's let's be acquaintances. Oh, uh, so you <laughs> He's an elf! That, did ya? Yeah, that ear's kind of <laughs> pointy. Boy, you sure have good ears. Paimon thought she was keeping her voice down. You always do this. I'm happy that finally someone hears your loud-ass whispers, though. Uh, wait, that's not it, Paimon. Sorry. He does have kind of uh, pointy ears. Paimon who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. Uh, so, let's talk, but, uh, what should we talk about? Yeah, I don't think it's getting awkward at all. Uh, it's fine. Oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early and sitting in the front. <laughs> Are you a friend of Linny's too? A friend, you say? Uh-huh. Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. <laughs> Why are you so, like, awkward, kinda? He's not awkward, but it's like, uh, he's not awkward, he's just, he, he feels like he doesn't know what's going on. But maybe he's just very polite, I don't know. Oh, so you're not friends with Linny, then. Oh, this is getting more awkward by the second. No, it's ah, not. Uh, Paimon nearly forgot to make her introduction. Yeah, go for it. Rednos is Rednos, and Paimon is Paimon. Nice to meet you, Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Mm -hmm. We just arrived in Vaudain. Hello, nice to meet you. It is an honor to meet you two. Oh, you got I up so quickly. Your deeds across to that. Thank you. Mostly the good ones, I hope. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I am... Let me guess. Vache. Oh, Monsieur Nervillette. It is Nervillette. What an honor it is to have you here to see my show. Nice. Ah, Mr. Linney. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. So this is the guy that would come after us if we did a bad deed? He seems pretty reasonable. Oh, wait. Nervillette? Creepy. <laughs> Nervillette? <laughs> mm -hmm. I saw you all chatting just now, but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervillette is. Monsieur... Dude, we know who it is. He, he got introduced to us with you beside us when we got here. Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. I see. It wouldn't be too much to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. Why can I feel like that's gonna be something ironic? Ooh! Uh, sorry for being so rude just now. Paimon had no idea you were such an important person. How is it rude? Nothing rude happened. It's not like we laughed at him or were mean. No offense taken. Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. Yeah. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. Yeah, I believe it. And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to. Yeah. You're not allowed to have a flying object around you that's not attached. It's illegal here. There's someone sitting up there in the VIP oh. seats that has been striking a pose <laughs> for quite a while now. <laughs> Yeah. I believe she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive <laughs> first impression. He's throwing shade though, kinda. So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. I see. Otherwise she may become flustered. Oh man, I hate when I become flustered in public. Wow, beautiful pose, Farina. <laughs> Looking very hot and stuff. I, I love, uh, I love Hydro. <laughs> Hey! Look on her face. Stop. Because she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Stop. Very good. That is for the best. <laughs> no need to pay her any more attention. I love this guy. We may now enjoy the show. You know, if this guy becomes playable, it might be one of the first characters I'm really excited for pulling as a guy character. Huh? So is 
this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? I don't know. We may be getting we may be getting baited in. All right. Please Perhaps. wait just a moment longer. Sure. I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. All right. Yay! Not a whole lot's happened yet, but I'm so excited for this story. I think I have, being younger. A little bit of lore about me, if you want. Um, it was actually a street, a street magician, a street performer. And it was someone, I don't know what they were doing. They had like a Hulk fist. This was so, this was so weird. A lot of things happened that night. There's this, I'm probably going to cut all this. <laughs> Maybe you want to hear it though. There's this children's fairy tale called Pinkohia. And I was a big fan of Pinko here, and my dad used to read me bedtime stories about this character. And I had a backpack of him and some books of him. And I brought my backpack because I think we went out like to the restaurant. And usually, you know, when you're a kid, there's nothing to do there. So I used to bring my drawing equipment and I had that all in my Pinko here bag. So we were about to leave and then we saw the street performer. And I think when that happened, I kind of just lost track of time and someone stole stole i was just distracted by the street maybe it was a you know what maybe it was a pickpocket the entire time either way they stole my bag so enjoy my few pencils and awful drawing i guess would have been a cool memory but thanks for ruining them <laughs> but the street artist had like a hulk glove and one of the people there just grabbed the glove and started like fake beating them up i'm starting to think it might have just all been a distraction to steal my pink with your bag i'm pissed now what why did i hmm i never thought of it like that anyway the crowd enters the venue, and the curtains open for the show to begin. There's a lot of space for not a lot of seats here. Oh, they're dimming the lights! The show must be starting! Shh! Shh! Paimo, hmm. stop screaming. I, I'm sorry. I'll tell my kid to be quiet. <laughs> sorry. Paimo will try to stay quiet. <laughs> I know. You should be. Unbearable child. Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. Uh -huh. I am the star I'm of today's show, Lenny. For, this, for the first time ever. Lene, here woo! Is my sister Lynette. Woo, we'll be Lynette! As my wonderful assistant. Woo! Please, mm, let's sorry. give her a warm welcome. Woo! Why is no one clapping? I love Lynette. Hello, everyone. Oh, we have to wait for hello. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Okay, Whatever. no need to address it. Whatever. Now, some of you may be thinking. Two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So true, bestie. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Whoa. I want to guess the Fatui are attacking. Oh no, not those masks. Not the visions. Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. Whoa. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, don't say that. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show real magic. Paimon, shut now, up. <laughs> without further ado, let the show begin. I'm barely poking out Lynette of the chair. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. Why do you need to prepare if it's magic? Her, but don't worry, she'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected wow. way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Maybe they're thieves. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing the I should say. The crowd is so small. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Oh, we're all gone. We're all dead. A magician's greatest Ooh. skill Ooh. is making things disappear Cutscene. or appear. The possibilities are endless. Your confidence, snap, it's gone. Oh wait, you never had it to start with. She deep. No cat ears. <gasps> It's a hat. It's floating. Whoa, there's cards. More? Oh my god, I had the Queen of Hearts. You were right. That's my card. Oh, a bird. <laughs> Stop wasting the cards. But this isn't what you came for. Oh god. These little tricks? A trial. You've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary. Yeah. Don't you think? Sure. This We're kind of enjoying a it. Little tricky. I'm scared. Verb. Give. Whoa. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely. Uh oh. Right before your very eyes. Oh my God. Wow! Look at that. There's even a guard. Hey, don't be one of the girls that gets removed forever. Don't do it. Not the anxious music. 
I don't like this. She's it's gonna drown. Quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. <laughs> it's part of the act, oh, guys. No. I told them to check all the props carefully. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Luckily, hey, hey. it's me on stage. So do a little song. What a true virtuoso can do. She can hold her breath for a while. Uh. Wait, that's his outfit. Lynette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. I don't like Hi. this. I'm back. Uh -huh. Okay, that's fine. I like it again. <laughs> it's fine. I like it again. What was his outfit in the thing, though? Pretty sure it was his, right? She's looking out for someone. She's trying to find someone or something. This was a distraction, guys. They stole my pink with your bag. <laughs> Whoa! What in the world just happened? How did he do that? Magic. Didn't seem to do anything. I know, because it's magic. What a show! No wonder he's a famous magician. If he could see easily through his tricks, mm -hmm. and that would mean that his skills are still lacking. So true, Naviet. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Definitely agree. This is like lesson one about magic. Ah, guess you're right. Hyman couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. Yes. But our magical journey oh. has only just begun. Okay. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. Sure. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go nice far tricks. beyond what you just This has to be seen. an idol. I think it's an idol of his. <laughs> it has to be. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. Uh huh. But Lynette is still my assistant after all. So you're gonna do something even more impressive? Dude, it's not even sold out. There's four spots remaining. In which Embarrassing. case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. Okay. So, for my next trick, I will require the participation of one me. lucky audience me. member. Me, I would hate this. If this was real me, I would hate if I got picked. Please. If my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now, yeah, there are two boxes and only two boxes. Yeah, one is here and one is there in the aisle among the audience. I see. These masks scare me, by the way. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. Uh huh. A swap. Yeah. Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. Sure. After one minute. We will each emerge from the opposite box. Mm -hmm. Now, please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Uh -huh. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Sure. Wow, how's he gonna do this? He's already in the other box. Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? Paimon, how about you shut the hell up? The lucky option <laughs> will be generated by this the real option. random number selector. 12. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Fake. Now then, let's begin. 12. It's it's letters, isn't it? I can't, I couldn't tell. Oh, 13? Let me see. Oh, row 7C3. Row 7C3. Congratulations. It's the thief you girl. You have the chance to experience magic firsthand for an entire minute. It's the thief girl, isn't it? Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. And then there's gonna be a trial instantly after, because this is the thief girl, I bet your ass. I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. Oh, yeah, look at those berries on the top. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. All right. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up? 
You might even find yourself prison. in the fortress of Meropede. Bet Meropede is a prison. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right. Before Please not I in jail. The magic box, there I just is escaped. One more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Uh huh. Could you all give me a countdown? From how much? Like this. Sixty seconds. 58. Just keep counting down. Uh -huh. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. Yeah. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Okay. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Don't die. Ooh, Paimon kind of wants to count faster after you even see that. No, that's unfair. I'm sure Lee's prepared. With the whole crowd counting together, you couldn't even if you wanted to. No, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. Wow. You still can't be trusted. Okay. Let's practice together. Sure. Come on, repeat after me. She's gonna be 60, here. 59, 60, 59, 58. 58. 60, 59, 58. <laughs> That's right. Perfect. Sounds like Pokemon Keep crowd. It going. All right. The I'll music see is you back. All on the other side once you finished counting. All right. 54, 53. You're counting too quick, Paimon. Nervalet? I am counting in my head. I agree. I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. He kind of sounds like Zhongli to me. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Uh huh. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. The reason you're here is to, th like, treat the thief after, right? Oh, all right. You look so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. I think he would get uncomfortable because of me. Look at how I'm looking at him. 40, 39, 38. <laughs> Mr. Linny. Are you all right in there? Garrick. Is everything ready? Wait, the Garrick? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double checking the direction of the magic. Oh. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. Uh huh. For example, we all stopped counting right by the way. Above the audience. We're listening. Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't seem nervous at all. I think it's all part of the show. Bang. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> Did you hear it too? Yeah, I think the city's being attacked by some dragon, maybe. Just to divert our attention. Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. Uh -huh. 25, 24, <laughs> 23. What's wrong, Mr. Linny? I can still hear you moving in there. Uh -huh. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. <laughs> I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. Stop trying to I fix a decoration. Never mind the decorations. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. <laughs> no, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry. He's even tricking his own guy. Seconds. Hear them counting? 19, 18, 17. 18. Oh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels 16, like to count faster, 15. Right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. 10 seconds of change is still plenty of time. Uh huh. Another cutscene, huh? Almost there now. Okay. Eight. Swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Sure. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait. Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's hilarious. So sorry. Hey, slow down! Honestly! Five, wow! Four, three, uh, whoops! That doesn't count! <laughs> that's pretty funny, okay? <gasps> Flashbang. <laughs> Whoa! I can do that too if we cut the camera six times, guys. I can walk in from one side of the camera and walk out on the other side. With handcuffs on. Holy shit. Holy shit. It's fine, she's not in there. was all a trick. Oh god, maybe it wasn't. Oh my god, <laughs> what? What? Huh? We've just witnessed death. Is this part of the show? Yes, yes, 
Yes. Mr. Lenny, you're going to use magic to fix the stage now, right? Yes, everyone, close your eyes, go outside. Thanks for watching the show. It's magically fixed. What happened? Oh, God. Oh, no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. The girl was still in that box, right? I don't know. This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards, secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is wow. allowed in or out at this time. Wow. <laughs> yes, that's right. If this was just an accident, Shut up. then we must investigate <laughs> the cause. Okay, but so if this was she's a facade. Of some scheme, then, then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the God of Justice. I'm starting to maybe she's just the image. Like maybe she she does not feel like she's the actual Archon. I feel like no Nuviet might be. Too. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Like, or at least he's the actor, clear. Like, he's the one that does everything. She's just there. She's the face of it. After some time, the guards complete their investigation. All right. Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. His name was Cowell, huh? one of the assistants in Linny's magic troupe. Damn, then this, this thief is actually nuts. Apparently, the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. So we did just witness death. Okay, Genshin picking up some steam too. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowl in the box, rather than the guest from the audience. Did no one really realize it was that thief getting and back at them? after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. You knew this, didn't you, Lenny? It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance. Yeah. And there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances of young women. Huh. But I, I could have sworn... I mean, I, I expected the girl to not be here anymore, but I thought it was the thief, like, uh, from earlier. The, the serial disappearances case? But how... They said the first was 20 years ago. How long has this been happening? Huh? That's the case that Charlotte mentioned before! And to pull it off like this, in front of an audience, including the Archon and the Chief Justice! <laughs> the truth okay i can see through the whole thing yeah really using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale did he really underestimate us that badly i think you're crazy i say that our powerful magician mr linney is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case <laughs> huh? why me this whole thing was an accident <laughs> why me that's a really good counter argument <laughs> This all occurred during your magic show, did it not? <laughs> this Archon is so... The girl disappeared after being chosen, <sighs> did she not? Yeah. The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? So that means that he's culpable. He's the one. He killed his own assistant to clear his own name. Yep. Now that I think about it, that whole speech about magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald-faced <laughs> challenge. Yeah. That can't be right. How can Lenny do this? I mean, I don't believe it, but then again, who do we know? We don't know anyone here. He was in the box on the stage the entire time. We can even hear his voice. Magic, isn't it? Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. Yeah. He could have possibly mean catching himself. It's hard to believe all this happened during the show. Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina, may I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? Hmm. Huh? I just think that he... Well, <laughs> oh my I God. Uh, think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. Uh -huh. But what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Looks like she's gonna personally deliver justice. Oh my god. A kidnapping a and murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Oh no. Lady Farina said it all. Lady Farina really sounds like a dumb child. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, my dear people. You're an actor. That's what excites me even more than You're a paid the actor. obvious truth before our eyes is the opponent I'll be facing. Okay. That's right. I mean you, traveler. Ah. You'll support Lenny, won't you? Sure. After all, 
he was the one who helped you the first time we met. Can you stop condemning people when you meet them? Like, you're a pretty awful person. Yeah, of course I trust Lenny. <laughs> then there's no problem at all. You know, the Traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. Did we? But with Lenny's Define help, duel. our little duel ended in a draw. I feel like it's more like I won. <laughs> But draws really are the most boring possible outcome. You retreated. So, no more draws. Between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here, on the grandest of stages, mm -hmm. the Opera Epicles. Clearly. Huh. It wasn't a draw. I know. She obviously lost last time. I know. I understand. Okay. Charges have now been pressed, and as such, a trial is in order. All right. Well, traveler, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. Clearly. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, mm -hmm. I would like to ask you. You're a lot more reasonable, you know, Nuviet. Are you willing to act as Mr. Linney's attorney and defend him in this case? Yeah, sure. Very well. The trial will be held a day from now in the Opera House. Both sides may investigate wow. the scene to build their cases and wow. search for the truth. Oh, do we get this for real? That would be cool. Linny and his troop are all potential oh. suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. Are we a troop, supposedly? The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. Where's Lynette, though? A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case this big shot outlander can build in such a short amount of time. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're a freak. I'm really quite looking forward to you might be the Archon I most dislike. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even dislike Egg that much. She was dumb, but like, you're just annoying. Everyone is dismissed and everyone just leaves free in the It's okay. Lenny! Hello. What? What the hell, man? Sorry about everything that happened just now. That's okay. Were you frightened? Um, weirded out. Witnessing an accident like that. They're not actually dead, are they? Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How Simon. Could this happen? And poor Cow. Simon freaking Cow. I know you already claimed that you'd defend me, but now it's just us talking. Uh huh. Tell me, do you think I could possibly be the murderer? I mean, you could, you could be, but no, I don't hear. think you are. Thank you so much for trusting me. I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. Mm -hmm. But if you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries. Uh -huh. Such that all that's left is confusion. Sure. I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not. And I don't know why poor Cal was in the box. Mm -hmm. As for how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear, I'm afraid I don't have any answers either. Your blindness is if pissing me off. If with my performance, then we need to figure out what they did. Uh huh. Even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. Yeah, very strange, but no denying what's happened. Which is precisely why we need to investigate. As this book says, <clears throat> the impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been what? Which is possible. <laughs> what? Hello? Where'd you get that? I'm a bottom when we were reading at the bookshop in the city earlier. Pretty cool, huh? No. I <laughs> I hate it, but I love it because of that. Don't worry. Paimon used her own savings to buy them. It wasn't wow. our travel funds. That is incredible. I think they look cute on you, Paimon. Oh, Lynette, you really are not stressed out at all about this. You have good taste, Lynette. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going to help me now. That's fair. I need to get back to my normal self. That's fair. I'm taking a sip, dude. I need a break, man. I need a breather. But with the guards watching our every move, it's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I to prove our own innocence. I see. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thanks. An for ace, that. if I may. We'll be counting on you. Of course. Yes, thank you so much. Hey, I won't let you down. You said a sort of thing. Yeah, just leave it to us. <laughs> you can definitely trust this one. Definitely not Paimon. Oh, uh, since we're going to start investigating, Paimon has a question first. I think it's a Sherlock reference. Wow, you're okay, Paimon. Popping uh, off. Well, 
I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential trade secrets as magicians. You want to be saved or not, bud? The secrets behind our magic are past saving, Linny. I love Lynette. I suppose you're right. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence that will be weighted during the trial. Uh-huh. <sighs> weighted? Truly a Wait. Pity. As a magician, our magic show is a work of art. Mm -hmm. We've poured countless hours and spared no effort in perfecting it. Yeah. But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind what happened, just then people. it will be well worth it. We'll keep your secret. We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. Bruh. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, you can go investigate <laughs> the stage in the seating areas. Frickin' Paimon, man. Alright, let's go have a look while the investigation teams are still here. Detective Paimon is on the case! <laughs> You're actually Watson. This would be really cool if we got to, like, actually investigate the scene. Hello, officer. How's oh, the no. investigation going? It's a real mustache, by the way. We're Lydia and Lynette's attorneys. Ah, uh, I see. Mm -hmm. You must be the traveler that Lady Farina mentioned. That will be me. Listen, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Mm -hmm. I'd avoid getting mixed up in this whirlpool of a mess if uh -huh. I were you. Yeah, I get you. Have you seen her, though? Do you really think you can convince us? Look at her. She's taking herself seriously right now. We're, we're in this. We're in this till death. What do you mean? <laughs> Come with me and you'll see. Okay. Ooh. Inside info, eh? The deceased is one of Linny's assistants named Cal. Yeah. Even though he hadn't joined the troop long, he was hardworking and everyone generally liked him. I see. The assistants are usually in charge of setting up and inspecting the props, <laughs> as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd engaged. That body does not look proportional to a normal body. As you probably saw when you were in the audience, uh -huh. the water tank suddenly fell and smashed the box with cowl inside it. I see. Uh, I mean, I, I did see all of this already. I don't know what you're recapping, but the girl was supposed to be in there. This is the real mystery. We've already searched the scene and were unable to find any traces of the girl. Yeah. However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. Mm -hmm. The ropes holding the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics on stage, yeah. causing them to snap. Mm -hmm. All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see this as a mere accident. Of course. But then the girl, how does she tie into everything? If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned. Sure. And Linny is the most likely person to have access to all these areas. Okay. She's right. I mean, Watson is. Are you both good friends of his? We only just met him? Uh, well, you can't say we're good friends, but <laughs> we've known each other for a little while. I think we should go and expect that box as well. So in just a short time, he was not only able to win your trust, but even convince you to act as his attorneys. Well, he did, like, act as my attorney and save me from jail, so I know it's only fair. I know no such thing as magic. Mm-hmm. The real trick of a magician is holding the audience in the palm of their hand. Yeah. I've seen a lot of cases, and I can tell you that people are the least reliable kind of evidence. Yeah, not always true. People can also be the most reliable evidence. Sorry, I tend to be pretty straightforward. Uh-huh. Just know that I'm warning you for your own good. I believe you. I think it's very kind. Anyway, you may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves if you're curious. I will. Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to come up with some new evidence. Yeah, that's the goal. Oh, this is so cool. You can use the case record to confirm your current evidence and clue collection situation. That's... It's actually detective. That's insane. Perception skill to find evidence and clues. Whoa! Guards investigation report. The investigation from the guards indicates that the fireworks launched at the tail end of the magic performance set the rope dangling the water tank alight, causing the, the tank to fall and kill Cowl, who was within. It seems evident that Linny is the likeliest user of the prop to commit a crime. However, the reason for the victim being Cowl and the reason for those chosen ladies' disappearance remain mysteries. The deceased's identity. One of Linny's assistants, named Cowell, well trusted, his job was setting up inspecting props, as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd engaged. A detective in action. This is incredible. This is so cool and so unexpected for me anyway. I don't know if the stream talked about this, but this is wild. Examine white line. Magic ball was struck. If Cowell wasn't inside the box at that moment, he might have dodged the falling water tank. Got that far. This is wild. I love it. All right, the rope. So this is the rope that broke and caused the water tank to fall. Uh-huh. Hmm. 
Can I click this? How can it be burned through so quickly by <laughs> the mustache man? So either Lenny, Lenny didn't realize this was a safety concern, or hmm? why are you suddenly so serious, traveler? I'm thinking. I'm just looking at where the rope snapped. It's higher up than the firework oh. area. Look, maybe. This bit is made from different material. Yeah, I mean it doesn't. It just proves that it's more set up Most for sure. Of it was burned away, but there's still a little bit of it left. Hmm, seems like a type of flash cotton. I would not know. Huh. So if a rope meant to hold something was made with that kind of material in it, mm -hmm. then that means... <laughs> Wait, why don't you write all this down? Uh -huh. Let's take notes. I tried. I tried to click the thing. Special rope. This rope is used to suspend the water tank. It suddenly broke with the fireworks being launched on stage. The investigation has shown that the location where the rope snapped was made flammable material. I mean, all this does is prove that it's more, like, this could still be Linny doing it, you know? Esmond, all right, what's up? I'm just walking through the water. I feel like this is not very, whatever. The broken magic box was left on the scene after the guards completed their investigation. Looking at it now, the water tank must have struck it really hard. Oh, well, that's useful evidence. In it. E. Maurice! Wow, I told you there'd be a Maurice. <laughs> I knew this. Hello there. What are you investigating? Hello, I am Maurice. Mm. Oh, so your this name. location has also been cordoned off because the Magic Troop members are currently considered prime suspects. Mm -hmm. The investigation team is still collecting evidence. Okay. The seats were all booked in advance, so we were able to deduce the missing woman's identity by checking the guest list. Okay, could you tell us who she is? Sure. It's not like this is confidential information. I love their we outfits. We'll publish it later anyway when we petition the public to help us find the missing person. I see. Her name is Halsey. Halsey. She's a painter from Fontaine who's made a bit of a name for herself. Really? Halsey. Is this a reference to uh apparently she wasn't a regular at the a opera tag house, artist? But she'd been feeling some pressure with her work lately, which made her decide to come see the magic show. Okay. The magic troop members all claim not to know her. We have looked into her social connections. It seems that she has no personal grievances or conflicts of interest with the suspect. Oh she does. She's a thief and she got caught. <laughs> but she wasn't related to the magic troop at all. Uh-huh. Which matches the features of the previous serial disappearances. I see. Were the victims of previous cases also chosen at random? <laughs> Paima, take it off, man. This is kind of cool. There's so much dialogue. That's how it seems to us, in okay. any case. Apart from the fact that they were all young women of around the same age range, uh -huh. there really weren't any other connections between them. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, then. Thanks for letting us know all this. I don't need to be so formal. If you do happen to see the missing girl, Please be sure to contact us. I know who she is. It is of utmost importance that we get to the bottom of these disappearances. I know. It's pissing me off. <laughs> Information about the missing lady's identity. Maybe I'm wrong the entire time. I'm just like, I keep talking about it and it's just not right. She's not the thief. Hale sees the missing person. She's a famous painter and came to watch the show in order to have a break from her own creative work. She isn't known to be entangled in quarrels. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Laying it thick on. I'm I'm so confident it's her. I'm so confident. Why uh why does the little thing pop up on him? Hey dude. Go ahead, have a look around. I am. In the end, we're both after the truth. I know. You're gonna be my buddy after this. D D D. Here's some more people I can talk to. Quentin. What's up, Quentin? The investigation team has some new findings. Mm -hmm. Turns out there's an issue with the random number selector after all. I know. It was guaranteed to fall on the thief. <sighs> See, I told you. What if the machine picked some big guy's seat? You think the murderer would have still made his move then? <laughs> the murderer was the lady in the box. Sorry to interrupt, but we're helping Linny and Lynette with their side of the investigation. Mm -hmm. What were you saying about the number selector? There's something wrong with it? Uh-huh. You're trying to help them? <laughs> That'll be a tall order. Didn't ask. Tell me the truth. Linny used the machine to pick a random member of the audience during his performance, right? Uh-huh. The lucky girl that later disappeared. Yeah. Well, we thought there might be a Boom. serious Evidence. problem with the machine, so we had it taken away for further inspection. I see. It turns out that the seat number it picked wasn't random at all. Yeah. The machine picks that same number every time. I figured it would. I'm sure you already know that you have to make a reservation in advance to get a seat. Yep. Regardless of whether it's a trial or some performance. Uh huh. In other words, Linny knew who would be sitting where from the very beginning. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That much checks out. Lenny reserved our seats for us too. <laughs> that he did. Let you see why I was Inspector saying it'd be tough to make a case for Lenny. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Hmm. Even though it's bad for 
Lenny's case? Paimon had better write it down. Uh huh. Random number selector. This device was used during Lenny's magic performance to choose a lucky member of the audience. However, the guards have found that it will generate the exact same number no matter what. Clearly, someone tampered with it. I don't know if it, it doesn't really make a case against Lenny, Imo. It's more of a it's more of a general hint, no? Like it could mean that the girl herself is bad. Oh yeah, the other box. This makes sense. Looks like the ordinary box, but Lenny somehow moved instantly from the stage to inside of it. How did he do it? I don't know. Why couldn't we even talk to him in the first place? That was unusual. An audience member? Is he dog? Hello. I see that you're investigating the area. Uh-huh. Well, it just so happens that I'm interested too. You look like you're from the round table. If you find any new and interesting leads, be sure to share them with me, all right? I don't know. I don't know if I trust you. We don't have too many thoughts yet. <laughs> <laughs> then why don't I tell you my hypothesis first? Uh-huh. The way I see it. It all started with that loud thud. Good info. I mean, I get that. Definitely. The thud? Uh-huh. Oh, you mean the sound that happened during the countdown? Definitely. It's weird you have so much testosterone that you have a mustache, but your voice is so high-pitched still. So. Yes, exactly. It wasn't terribly loud, but I suspect that most people heard it. Yeah, definitely. It's just that everyone was awaiting the results of Lenny's trick with bated breath. Mm -hmm. So no one paid it much mind. But now that the incident has happened, yeah. the thud has become an important clue. What do you think it was? Hmm. Like, that makes sense. her knocking out so the guy? What do you make of it? I'm of the opinion that it may have been the sound of Linny's accomplice. Uh-huh. Lynette, perhaps. Jumping atop the water tank, or something like that. Okay. And when the pyrotechnics went off, she cut the rope, sending the water tank crashing down. Well, sure, but the ropes burnt from the pyrotechnics, supposedly. But wasn't the noise we heard too loud for that? I agree, it didn't sound like someone landing. Perhaps the balance wasn't right, leading to a particularly rough landing. Uh, then wouldn't the water tank have started to swing a bit? Oh, that's true. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose I must reconsider. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Mm. That does remind Paimon, though. What was with that sound? I want to go, like, under the stage. Strange sound during the magic show. Yeah. I remember that. Thunk. Interesting. Anything else around here? The gang themselves? Molly! What's up, Molly? What do you guys have to Lynn say? Still talking to the guards. I know. It seems he'll have a lot of explaining to do. Fair enough. I think someone will be assigned to monitor us later, but that's alright. Uh-huh. So can I talk to Linny then? Whoops. Lynn's still talking. I was trying to talk to Molly. Linny's still talking to the I I'm not allowed? Oh. I guess that already happened. Okay. Can I go out here? I wonder. I can. Oh. Hey, you! Oh. Yes, both of you. Over here. What? I've been keeping an eye <gasps> on you for a while now. Is this her? Is this my fave? Why are you with the FBI? <laughs> What's this old man FBI guy over here? Huh? You <laughs> I love the the rotation of Pi One is That's so right. like not smooth. If I'm not mistaken, you're also among those who wish to cut down the thorns and pursue the truth. Uh-huh. No. Absolutely. And by the looks of it. You're not from Fontaine. You're a great eye. Well, you're right on the more about that one, but who are you? <laughs> the worried Paimon with the stash. Okay, I'm sorry. I love her. Holy shit. <laughs> have you never heard of the Spina di Rosula? I have heard of that before. Uh, definitely. And I love your outfit. From mediating disputes and providing protection to solving conundrums. Uh-huh. You name it. Spina di Rosula does it. Whoa, speed lines is crazy. Speed lines di Rosula. And I, Navia, Navia. have the honor of being its renowned president. Well, I think I have a new favorite character in Genshin Impact. Oh, those who Not gonna lie. Alright, we are definitely my favorite. Boss? Yes, please. I'm Silver, her attendant. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, Silver. And are you I'm gold? Malus. Oh, Malus. Demoiselle's very Demoiselle. and affairs are under my purview. I love everything about it. The mafia vibe it gives as well. I love that shit. I actually, I'm a huge fan of this mafia stuff always, and this is what I'm getting from it. Huh? Boss. Uh huh. Demoiselle. What gives with the name? What gives? <clears throat> well, I love I her. I am the second generation president. Malus and the others are still used to my 
previous title. Second generation president. My apologies, demoiselle. Should you prefer, boss, <laughs> I will endeavor to use that instead. Did you... <laughs> did you kill the old boss or something? Were you the old boss's wife? No, no need. You don't have to call me boss. Just Navia is fine. Beautiful name. Okay. I'm a fan. If you say so. Not the remembrance of Spina di Rasula anyway. Uh-huh. <laughs> All merely trifling details. Never mind. Huh. Now, back to the situation at hand. You were acting all badass, but you seem very sweet. So, you want to investigate as well? That's right. I've always kept an eye on the serial disappearance cases. My interest stems from a matter back from my father's time. I see. Wow, your father. Okay, that's probably the one then. Judging from the that's why you're things, demoiselle. Uh, makes sense. I'm Linny, an unlikely mastermind. Uh huh. Really? We think so too. That's why we're looking for clues now. <laughs> My assistant Watson, that does all the talking, thinks so too. But how did you come to that conclusion? Yeah, give us, give us. Intuition, naturally. My unparalleled <laughs> intuition. Oh, <laughs> okay. Farina sure was quick to point the finger at Linny without any decisive evidence whatsoever. Yeah. Wasn't she? I know. Are you also a Farina hater? We're gonna be friends. But that's not uncommon for her. Yeah. If you remember, the justice had to interrupt her and ask if she was pressing charges just to keep her from getting carried away. She was trying to press charges against me when I got here just because Paimon's floating beside me. Anyway, a trial begins the moment someone levels charges. And, of course, there was no way Farina was going to back down in that situation. Well, she was gonna, but in public pressure, she decided to go through with it. Sounds more like you just don't trust the Hydro Icon. And that's why I love her even more. I didn't even know who she was, and I loved her already, but now, convinced. Well, what's your opinion? I must admit that she can be interesting at times. Mm -hmm. But liking her doesn't mean that I'll blindly agree with her. Well, when you put it like that. Alright, I've answered your question. Now, it's time you answer mine. Alright. Wait a minute, did that answer count? I don't think it's fair enough. I'm kind of just stunned, so... Well, I say it does. But don't worry, <laughs> you won't hear any pointless questions from me. Alright, to the point. In your opinion, do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? I mean, honestly, no. Um, well? No. And why would that be? Doing so makes it easy for the truth to fall by the wayside. Something serious like a trial shouldn't be treated like entertainment. Um, I mean, ironically, there's a lot of shows nowadays about this kind of stuff. So I, I, I when the when a trial is done, it's fine. But I do think this is mostly true. The truth can fall to the wayside. <laughs> See, Silver and the Loose? I told you they'd be different. We're built different. Most astute of you, Demoiselle. Her intuition was I right. I do think that the traveler's response was most excellent. <laughs> No matter how wonderful I like this guy. How fervent the audience's expectations may be, the trials that go on stage here must be based, in fact. Based. <laughs> based, bro. But if that can be done, boss, then... You're based. Alright, that's quite enough, Maloose. Anyway, <laughs> I like your answer. You pass with flying colors. I like you. Now, Damn. I need to make some preparations, mm -hmm. following which our joint investigation shall commence. Lovely. You two? Shall be my assistant. Where do I sign? Hey, since when did we become assistants? It doesn't matter. I'm hypnotized. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, and the well, music is I can be the bringing me as well. Sure. Oh. Or your companion, if you Really? Like. I'm really not that fussy. But she's an actual queen. But just stop the game here. I don't care about the brother anymore. Let's just uh, live here forever. I, like it. I think you're missing the point, Paimon. Seems you're already agreed. Far be it from me <laughs> to brag, but. I believe that Demoiselle's intuition will be instrumental in uncovering the truth. Trust me, even if it wasn't, she's on my team. You wish to save a friend from false accusations. Uh -huh. And we wish to unravel the disappearance. I want to do that too. In this sense, our goals are alive. I will help you with that, 100%. Mm, you have a point. <laughs> <laughs> do the flip, do the flip. Why are you looking at me? I'm not a mister, I'm also a demoiselle. Stop calling me mister like that. <laughs> you seem like you've got something on your mind. I love the sunglasses. It's so random. We've never seen them before, and there's a the dude with sunglasses. It looks so modern, so out of place. I have nothing to add. Nice silver. Oh, alrighty then. Johnny Silverhand over here. We'll be making some preparations first. Uh, just be sure to let us know if they start revealing Lenny's tricks. Of course. <laughs> Thanks.
games? Hmm, are you just after the tricks? Big fan, huge fan. Speaking of that, I think magic shows would be very popular in Poisson. <laughs> nah, you did not. Poisson. <laughs> you did not. You did not. You did not just say that like that, bro. Poisson. I, that's my, I want that. That's my new ringtone, dude. You pronounce that Poisson. I can see Poisson. that. Hmm. Croissant, croissant. Magic. Yeah. If I can make things disappear, cleaning my room would be a cinch. <laughs> well, but you would lose your items, though. You need not worry about such things, demoiselle. Really? That falls under my duties. Oh, wow. That's, that's kind of creepy. Oh. <laughs> right. Better not let your, like, clothes hang. I feel like that's a bit odd. Okay, can I hear Poisson one more time? It's too funny. Magic shows would be very popular in Poisson. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Poisson. One more, one more, please. I'm addicted to this guy's poisson. I'm addicted to this guy's poisson. One, I'm so sorry. I know I'm ruining the, it, I'm ruining the immersion, but. Popular in poisson. <laughs> I love how he says it. Poisson. <laughs> His whole voice changes. Okay, last one for real. La, la, it's, I swear I will stop finding it funny soon. I promise. Please, one more. Okay, last one, for real. Speaking of that, I think magic shows would be very popular in Poisson. <laughs> it's never not funny. I can see that. It's never not Poisson. Maybe I should try to learn some okay. magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleaning your room will be great. She's got to be tired of me. I just started the dialogue with her three times. Can I talk to her directly? Speaking of that, <laughs> I think magic shows would be very popular in Poisson. I can see that. <laughs> Poisson. Nah, but th this guy's also gonna. Melis is gonna be the same dialogue. It's getting too repetitive now. It's no longer funny. I will not laugh at. Po I will not laugh at Poisson. And again, this is different. Of that, no, it's I think the same. Magic shows would be very popular in Poisson. <laughs> I can see that. Hmm. Maybe I should try to learn some magic. I'm tearing up. I'm so sorry. It's late. It's probably just because it's late. Maybe I'll laugh my ass off again during editing. I don't know. I hope so. Did I really find nothing with that dialogue? Poisson. Tristan, yo, Tristan, League of Legends champion right here. Sorry, but no one can freely enter or exit the Opera House at the moment. You're so if animate. You, leave, you must register your identity with us first. Honorary Knight of Mondstadt, Second Sage of Boer. We're not leaving. We're representing Linny and Lynette as attorneys, mm -hmm. so we're investigating the case. And as you can tell, we're very serious, Poisson. Were you always guarding this entrance? Yeah. Chief Justice gave the order, everyone coming in or out must undergo a strict inspection. You didn't see a blonde lady leave, did you? So, the missing girl couldn't have left from here. At least, not from that point on. What about during the show? I doubt there was much opportunity then, either. Your doubt isn't enough. I need concrete evidence. We're in a court of law. How can you be so sure, hmm? Yes, what mustache lady is saying? Well, because I was in charge of security near the entrance at that time. And how do you know you've done a good job? I couldn't see Bambi. Lily's performance from here, which was quite a shame. Just my luck. Uh-huh. <laughs> but still, I did not abandon my post. Great and job. I stayed put no matter how loud the applause was. Mm -hmm. If someone had so much as even approached the door, I would have noticed it. What if she's a spider? If they had tried to leave. And she went along the roof. We melazines are good at that sort of thing, you know. Okay then, Ratchet and Clank. So, it's safe to say the girl couldn't have left through here. I know, I can't believe we still haven't investigated under the box. This will be useful info. Just open the box! Entrances and exits. No one left the Oprah house during the match. She's maybe still in here. That's what we're kind of getting to. Oh, man. Like everything of note here at the performance venue. Yeah. Hmm. Paimon wonders how Lenny's discussion with the guards is going. Same. Shall we? Mm-hmm. things are getting interesting, huh? Yeah. We're about to see how magic is made. I know. Speaking of that, I think magic shows would be very popular in Poisson. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I should try I'm sorry. to learn some magic. Poisson. <laughs> you need not worry about... Oh. <laughs> oh, I love... I love everything. I love this play. I love oh, the no. I love, I love... Oh, shit. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to machine gun your hotel down. Oh, man. Give me a second. Oh. Oh man, that's some good shit right there. I have to be the only person on earth to find that funny, but god is it funny. Oh. 
Understood. Hello. Then I will be going with you. Okay. Just so you're aware, I will be monitoring your actions and making notes as necessary. Molly, that's your job. Very we understand. Good. Thanks for being so agreeable. I'd pull a rose out of my hat as a gift for you if I could. You, but you're a magician. You should be able. You may spare the pleasantries. I'm just doing my job. That's what I was saying. Hello. You've oh, arrived. my queen is uh, here too. Who's this? This is uh, my new investigator, Bestie. Me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Spina de Rosula's guardian <laughs> angel. If you've got a problem, I've got the fire. <laughs> yes. She kind of gives me Mona vibes as well. It's no surprise I like her so much. I thought she was Hydro because all the blue gems, but I don't think they're visions. She does kind of look Geo because of the Sorry, color, but I, got a little carried away there. I hope not Geo. Call me Navia. Maybe I'm physical. I'm a partner of theirs, and we'll be helping investigate this whole situation. I'm going back to the Pale Flame domain for another hundred years if she's physical. And these are my companions. Would you mind if they join as well? He says Poisson really funny. You actually have to keep him around. He's hilarious. Hmm? Fine by me. All right. Oh, new helpers? Uh-huh. I would be most grateful. They're so quick to just trust anyone with this. Well, let's just say we're tagging along. Mm -hmm. It's not every day you get to see the secrets behind magic performed on such a large scale. It might be why she's here in the first place. <laughs> I appreciate your kind interest. Oh, here we Come go. Finally. Me. We'll be heading below stage. Finally. I love this. This is always super cool. You know, I'm going to say something. You're going to hate me for it. I keep mentioning Shrek. I'm so, their head is still turning. I think it's kind of funny. Huh? Below stage? Yeah, below yes, stage. A world of secrets is hidden beneath this magic box. Of course there prepared is. Prepared specifically for this switcheroo trick. You guys seen that scene in Shrek 3 where you see the backstage when Shrek is tied up with his hands and walking around and like the cyclops has his daughter at work <laughs> but before i reveal everything it's the only time i've seen it under a scene notice under a stage. anything strange here uh i mean no not yet decorations were off i know you said that i'm not trying to be dramatic remembering the details of a trick will help you understand the methods used to perform it more easily i don't see all the stuff at the top that was there huh. Weren't there balloons hey, and other decorations? Navi and I, I'm just, just saying. Where'd all that go? Yeah. Ah, good eye. That said, you're still far from discovering the answer. The back of the door isn't the same. Uh, the back? You mean the inside of the door? What's different about it? Paimon didn't notice anything. The back? You mean the inside of the door? I guess the back of the... Yeah, that's what the back is, Paimon. <laughs> Very good indeed. I thought you might not be able to catch that, given that you were sitting in the first row. Mm -hmm. The back of this door was patterned. I see. Those patterns are now gone, replaced by a smooth wooden board. Uh huh. So, if you put two and two together, there's a what fake do you wall. Uh, a box inside the box. I just thought what fake wall, but sure, a box inside the box makes sense. <laughs> exactly. Why didn't, wouldn't you make the All pattern right, the let's same? Go. I'll tell you how it works as we head down. Okay. How far down is it? You're making it sound like it's an elevator ride right now. Oh, so there Dude, was a look at it. The magic box. And the passage linked the two boxes together? <laughs> I knew you'd figure out most of it as soon as you saw this place. I mean, <laughs> sure. The two magic boxes are positioned right above the two entrances of the tunnel. Shocker. See this flatbed trolley? Mm hmm. That's where you put the box in. The box with the lucky audience member in it would be shuttled over to the other side using the trolley. Mm -hmm. This trolley can raise and lower and even rotate, ensuring that the box will face in the right direction. Sure. I see. So that's the purpose of the box inside another box. Yes, well put. Precisely. The inner box would descend after the audience member was put inside and be uh -huh. moved along the trolley. Sure. All while the outer box would remain on stage as if nothing had ever changed. Would the audience member not realize all this is happening? So that's how you did it! The bonk was definitely her escaping the box, like... Once the box was lowered, the trolley would store some energy through this device here, with which it would complete the rest of the steps. Okay. The audience member I don't know would what only device. be able to feel some slight movements in the dark. Okay. And by the time she walked out, ah. she would already be back on stage. So she wouldn't notice. Okay, then what about your side of the trick? Right. You were talking that whole time. And you even came out for a moment near the end. True. Ah, uh, yes. A phonograph operated by Lynette was used to achieve that effect. A phonograph? 
just audio? But you were you came out the box a puppet? My assistant and I had already scripted our conversation beforehand. Uh -huh. When the countdown began, I mean that was I had that was gone obvious. The opposite box via a tunnel using that ladder. But you came out. And what about Lynette? Where was she? Was she just cosplaying as you? The audio was fake and she was dressed as you? I was in the mezzanine space in the back of the box. Okay. Oh, interesting! The mezzanine space in the back of the box. And that's how we were able to coordinate Lenny's lines with the assistant. And by the yeah, way, there you go. I was the one who walked out of the box at the end. Fair enough. I mean, we are twins. Uh -huh. All it takes is a change of clothes and no one can tell who's who. <laughs> I didn't notice. Was there a star on the cheek when he came out one? She came out of the box there? I didn't notice. And that's my favorite part of this trick. Mm -hmm. Only Lynette and I can perform it. Well, sure. So that's how it all worked. Wow. Every detail you revealed was more amazing than the last. The only thing, I mean, I didn't know you could make voice recordings. Well, I guess I did. There were some music players and whatever. Yeah. All right, I could have guessed more of it, but it's obvious. You, whatever. Lynette would briefly walk out of the box and then go back in. Yeah. Jumping into the tunnel and escaping before the box on the trolley could finish ascending. Yeah. And then I walk out of the other box in the audience area, and the trick would be complete. Mm -hmm. The operative word here being would. Trust me, we know. <laughs> but as you saw, Cal was in the box, mm -hmm. not our audience member. She, on the other hand mysteriously vanished. I think we should check behind all these things. Maybe there's an exit, a we dugout really exit. I don't know how that happened. If not for that interlude, this would have been an astonishing trick. Uh-huh. I probably never would have figured out how you pulled it off. I mean, okay. <laughs> okay. To think that someone was able to use this magic trick to commit a crime. Mm -hmm. Could we have a look around? Exactly. I think we can come up with some more leads. Good shit. This is the scene of the crime. So Lenny and Lynette are not permitted to stay here. All right. I'll escort them back up. Sure, Molly. Yes, of course. No need to be so strict now. <laughs> I won't disappear into thin air, you know. Psych! Snaps is gone. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We're counting on you. Hey, no worries. The magic trick. Lenny gave a detailed account of how the trick was supposed to work. By using a box inside a box, the idea of the box containing the audience member would be transported if he had a tunnel underneath, and Lenny himself would also use his tunnel to get to the other side. Meanwhile, having changed her outfit, Lynette and her assistant, or Lynette and her assistant, oh, would take charge of on-stage interactions. Uh, the magic box uh, has an additional layer in its reach, which Lynette and Lenny's clothes remained in hidden. It would appear at the end of the magic trick and lead people to believe that Lenny had, be, had been able to instantly move to the box on the other side. Hmm, okay. Audience side magic box. Uh, two layers beneath entrance, yeah. Sure. We got that far. We understand. Lots of things here, holy. Control board. Should be the control device for the trolley. It seems to be able to operate automatically. Useful. Ladder. Required in order to return to the magic box above, but... Okay, sure. Sure. A hook of some sort? Grappling hook. Looks like a fleur de lis, though. Looks like a hook tied to the end of a rope. Uh-huh. Huh? There's all kinds of odds and ends here. Mm, Linny didn't mention this earlier. Perhaps it was a prop for a different trick. Nah. But why would it have been left here? Can we please look up? See if there's like a board missing Whatever or... Whatever it is, <sighs> let's make a note of it first. Sure, Inspector Paimon. Dropped hook rope. A rope that has fallen to the ground. A metal hook has been tied to one end of this rope. Its use is unclear. I hope they keep this mechanic in for the future. And that we're just like, investigators. That must have been the noise. What else? There's like a... A plank here. What happened? I, I feel like there has to be something behind this... Behind this... This. <laughs> I feel like there is. <laughs> Alright, the jar. Uh, the floor is wet. Please be careful not to slip. Thank you, Malus. Oh wow, you forgot your dress, Malus. Speaking of which, why would there be water here? Can we stop assuming every mess is for a trick? Oh! Hi, my nose! It's one of those tricks where you pour water into a jug uh -huh. and then flip the jug over only for the water to disappear? That's crazy. And uh-huh. Huh. Did the trolley knock it down while moving? Hard to believe. Uh, that 
can't be. The trolley moves along tracks from start to finish. Mm -hmm. It couldn't have hit the vase at this distance. Agreed. Let's note this down too and think about it later. <laughs> we'll think about it some other time. Broken flower vase. There are many pieces of broken flower vase on the side of the tunnel. All the water within has been spilled. Judging from the distance, it seems unlikely that it was knocked over by the trolley, meaning or meant to transport the box. Yeah? Yeah? Let me unequip this. I keep pressing it on accident. Clothing. These are the clothes that the lady chosen from the audience was wearing, right? Hmm. Well, that's some real shitty evidence to leave behind lady from the audience. The clothes are here, but she's nowhere to be found. Lily mm, didn't mention the guest having a wardrobe change. Right. And do you really need to do that if you're kidnapping them? <laughs> what happened to your glasses? Ugh. This is so confusing. <laughs> Kevin doesn't want to be a detective anymore. Stop. Stop being so negative, Nancy. Pissing me off, Paimon. Young lady's clothes. Clothes belonging to Hel Helsey, the lady who went missing, were found in the tunnel. The reason for this remains unknown. We should wear that. Honestly, Lumine would look great on us. I think I'd look cute with that on. Alright, track. High precision is required to complete this magic show, and the tracks are perfect for making the trolley stay on its designated course. Alright, well, it's, it's clearly hinting at there's no tempering with the track. Storage boxes. Props and costumes, Hafford, Haff, Haff, Haffers, <laughs> Haffazardly, I don't know how to pronounce this, Haffazardly stuff inside. Stuffed. Alright. Ah, oh, I see the vent, Amoga sus, wow. Trolley's crucial for transporting the box, yeah. Vent, red is sus. What is this place? Looks like a vent. It seems someone could fit through here. Really? Huh. Could this have been the suspect's escape route? I guess so, but why the grappling hook? Hmm, alone, perhaps. But if they had to pull another person with them, this space would be too narrow. First of all, that's not true. I was even gonna say you two fit to it through it together, looking at how big it is. But also, you are hinting at the said lady being the culprit. But Hmm. Other than those that go through the magic boxes, and Linny and Lynette were in the two magic boxes. Oh, you're right! Let Paimon write that down. Write it down, Paimon. I didn't know Paimon could write. Tunnel fence. Sus. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Return to the surface. Can I start? Can I go back up here? Yes. I wish. Let's head back up. Alright. Cool. Anything else that maybe I can inspect if I'm nosy enough? Board control, car control, it's automatic. Nah, no, no, we've seen that before. Okay. This is so cool. I love this. Big, big fan. Well, we've ascertained the state of the crime scene. Definitely have. Let's find a place to sort out our findings once Malus returns. Where's Malus? Seems to me that there are several things that don't add up here. You would be right. Hey, Malus. Apologies for the wait, demoiselle. You mean boss. So, what did the guards say? Did the criminal escape through the vent? Mm hmm? They believe the odds of that are very low. Okay. Since the vent leads to the opera house's basement. Can we go there, please? Maybe all the ladies are there. The guards have checked the area carefully. Okay. No one left through the basement during the performance or after the incident. And no one was found hiding there. Hmm. Dead end, so eh? So the tunnel's become like a secret chamber then. Mm hmm You know, like the kind you usually see in novels. It would seem so. Hmm. The plot... I very much have the same reaction. Cowley's disappearance and Cowell's death are both quite inexplicable. I know. Huh. No wonder Farina was so confident in her accusation. It's almost like she was a All part of it. All the current evidence points toward Linny and Lynette. Honestly, I feel like the Hydra Archon already, she's like, she's mad sus. Obviously, there's so much emphasis on it, but you know the whole story about the whole town being drowned in water and only the Archon would survive and like be all oh, so sad because everyone died. I'm like, well, maybe you can make a change to this. But also, like, trying to get people to be captured. I feel like she's so young, too. Maybe she's, like, abducting these ladies to suck the life out of them. Maybe she's a vampire. Okay, enough of In those theories. the charges are very likely to be upheld unless we make some considerable progress. I see. Charges and then trial. We can fight. So if the charges are upheld, well, he can fight. the sentence? They can fight. They're actually strong as hell. They'd probably win. That's right. This is how a trial goes in the Opera House. Uh-huh. During the proceedings, the Chief Justice and the Oratrice 
We'll hear statements from both sides. The Oratrice will too? That's right. This is how Indemnidium is produced. Uh huh. We've heard of that. Child told us all about it. He's still sparring statements someone or from something. Both sides. The defenses from attorneys, witness testimonies. There's no and way. Even the audience's emotions will all be projected on the Oratrice. Child's like accidentally gonna fix this for us or something. I clicked. To put it simply, it's as if the Oratrice has its own will and is a judge in its own right. Uh huh. This also precludes any kind of favoritism on the part of the Chief Justice. Fair. And not that this has ever happened anyway. Fascinating. Once both sides have finished speaking, mm -hmm. the Chief Justice will make his final decision. Uh huh. This too will be used by the Oratrice as a reference. I forgot what the Oratrice was again. The machine, right? The Oratrice will be consulted by officials. Mm hmm. The result it returns is the will of justice itself. It sounds like that could be tempered with as well, but sure. So that machine is the one that actually decides? Yeah. I'm on button of a leg called the shots. Neviette. In practice, there is very little difference. Uh -huh. Both have always come to the same judgment. I see. Which is why people have great faith in the Chief Justice. I see. Ah, yes. The guards also asked me to convey that none of us will be allowed to leave this place before the trial. Child's breaking in because he wants his vision back. Huh? Why? I don't know. Because we've chosen to act as the twins' proxies. That makes us persons related to the case. Fair enough. Uh, they're concerned that we might be colluding with outside parties. Mm -hmm. Or that we might find outside help to disrupt the case. Where? Why were you guys in here in the first place, I wonder? Were we just watching the play as well? And even if that were not so, it could prove problematic if we happen to spread key information about the case ahead of time. Uh-huh. I'm ready to break out at any time. Oh. <laughs> for that. I don't think they have a point. Poisson. <laughs> Are they providing food? <laughs> of course. I nice. just hope you don't mind the lack of options. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that catering to all tastes is not in the cards. No baguette aux champignons. Any guarantee of balanced nutrition. Alright, well, now's not the time to be picky, I guess. In that case, let's just sort out our findings together here. Mm -hmm. Pity. I was hoping to take you to try some of Fontaine's famous desserts, too. Talk about, like, il flottante? That kind of thing? Pâte aux fruits or whatever it was? I mean, what better way to properly think through our findings than over some tea and sweets? I know! Huh. I would love that. Breaking out suddenly doesn't seem like such a bad idea after all. <laughs> Paimon! Just kidding! Just kidding! <laughs> Paimon will still do her best, even if there are no snacks. Paimon, you're banned from wearing those glasses if you're not trying your best right now. Hmm? What do you mean, no snacks? Uh-huh. Of course we'll have snacks! <laughs> if we cannot buy some, then we'll simply make some! I love her! Huh? Here? But how? <laughs> Just use the fireworks for to make fire. Understood, demoiselle. Everyone, please come with me. Really? I can, you know, I loved her from the moment I saw her, but I could not have liked her more than with the circumstances Wait, now. Hey! Portable stove with you? Tell me you can reuse this. I have like nine of them. They are ass. You can only use them once. Yes, I must be prepared or, to meet you know. the demoiselle's baking needs whenever the fancy strikes her. You're a legend. I have eggs, <laughs> sugar, and almonds at the ready. Oh my god. <laughs> Good work, you two. Oh my god, they're gonna get make to it. Madeleine. Sit tight for a moment. You'll get to taste my awesome snacks soon enough. You're awesome. Are you cooking? These three are quite the interesting group. I, lo I love them, <laughs> not gonna lie. Spina di Rosula. I'm a Spina di Rosula member. Nafia methodically handles the ingredients and pulls fresh macarons. Macarons, okay. Holy, they're so big. They're so big and square. But she does make them herself, and that I respect a lot. Look at how big they are. Uh huh. I said the same. I want one of these so bad now. I was applauding. <laughs> yeah, great job, Ape. Applause to you. Little golf clap. I respect the work you did. And I was giving encouraging smiles. Can you give us a little smile? Can you show some teeth? That's not quite what Paimon meant, but okay. Okay. Uh, Paimon was just thinking. Aren't you worried about getting your fancy dress dirty, beating egg whites, and baking like this? She's clearly a pro. <laughs> Well, I don't think it's carved in stone anywhere that fancy ladies can <laughs> only read books, sip tea, ride horses, and play the piano. Uh-huh. 
I just really enjoy making snacks. I actually love her. I'm sorry. I can't get over it. Don't underestimate beating egg whites, by the way. I know. It's a real arm workout. Trust me, I know. You also need to beat them to just the right consistency. I know. Bronze will crack. I know. <laughs> I love it here. Anyway, give these a try. I do some baking. Fresh out of the yeah. oven. Yeah, yeah, I'm There's a baker. Three for each of us. <laughs> three? <laughs> this size. Only three? What do you mean? Bro, they're, they're so big. Usually you'd have one. It's like the size of... When you put your pointer finger and your thumb together. Well, and you eat like one. Pretty sweet treats might send all that sugar to your head. Uh-huh. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to think clearly about the case on a sugar rush, would you? I wonder if I've ever had a sugar rush. Everyone always talks about it. Is it real or is it something your parents tell you? Tea is ready to be served as well. They are served. This is Demoiselle's favorite. Strong black tea with a floral fragrance uh, that clears the mind and lifts the spirit. It's actually my favorite too, although this is definitely not black tea when I look at the color. Thank you. Why don't you have a break as well? No need for concern. I'm merely doing as I should. This is my favorite old man in the game. TBH. All right then. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Down to business. I've only had one. Paimon's had two. Mentioned previously, Fatty. The tunnel seems to be something of a secret chamber. Uh-huh. However, we can assume still that Lenny the and Lynette were not alone within it. Uh-huh. Some criminal also occupied its sealed confines. I think the criminal is the lady. Do you think Paimon has, like, crumbs in her mustache? That'd be so funny. The magician twins could have committed the crimes, of course. But they lack any logical motive. Uh-huh. Well, sure. Exactly! Why would they do such a thing right when everyone was watching? Mm-hmm. So, apart from the twins, we're left with two other people. The missing girl and the deceased. The flower vase and the thud we heard during the performance could indicate some altercation between Halsey and the criminal in the tunnel. Uh-huh. Resulting in the shattering of the vase, the discarding of her clothes, and her abduction. Ah. Were there any, like, tears on the... Clothes, maybe? Perhaps the criminal thought that since she was chosen from the crowd, she would be too easy to identify if she was still wearing the same clothes. Uh-huh. Paimon thinks that makes sense, but the real trouble is... There's no evidence that this third person even exists. <sighs> True. None of the clues we found thus far support the existence of this third person. Guys, I think the conclusion is coming closer and closer. How are you not seeing it? But... The only people left to consider are both technically victims. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the missing girl, Halsey, or poor Cowl. Banksy. Huh. Could Halsey have secretly made modifications to the magic props? Yes. In order to murder Cowl before making her escape? Yes. She had ways of knowing how the magic trick worked because as Linny himself said, thieves and magic is very similar. It's about deceiving. Uh, that's right. And even if she had tampered with the setup, she would need to understand the entire trick to pull it off. And she did, believe it or not. You know, it's fine, because Navi is here. If it wasn't Navi, I'd be pissed. Nor does she have any motive. You don't know the that. The guards said that she has never had any dealings with the Magic Troops members. There's a lot of guards people busy right now, so she can go on the streets and steal easily. <sighs> were we not thorough enough in our search? I think we were. From the sound of we're just not seeing, we're not connecting the dots. Case. It isn't. You're <laughs> they smell great! They're nice and crisp and super sweet! I think macarons are good, but not as good as everyone says they are. <laughs> they are my specialty after all. I can't wait to pull and for you. I see you've already had five of them. Yeah, she's <laughs> cheating. You were only supposed to a lot to have two. Three. What? Five? Oh, that can't be right. Paimon only carried three! Paimon's okay. the culprit. Oh, they Please discussed something. Don't worry about it. At my age, a few less sweets might actually be a good thing. Well, I didn't eat two of mine. You can have them. Uh, no, no. Being greedy is one thing, but Paimon knows how to count. <laughs> Wait a second. Besides, Paimon knows that if she ate too many, then others wouldn't have enough. Wait a second. Are you telling me this thief just stole it? It's fine if you ate them. You ate them. Wait. Even you don't believe Paimon? Wow. There's no way this thief is around here. If Paimon ate those two extra macarons, then may they turn into stone in her stomach! Okay. I believe <laughs> oh, her. I genuinely it? believe her, but well, that would mean the I thief is still one here. I us might have gotten too engrossed in our chat and eaten them by mistake. No big deal. <laughs> I like how no one was making it a big deal, but Paimon's like, I did not eat five! I was like, it's fine if you did. Whatever. Malus, set up the stove again if you would. Huh? What are you doing? 
Is this a trick? Making sure everyone gets three macarons, of course. Oh, there's really no need to do that. Exactly. We don't want to trouble you. As you wish, demoiselle. <sighs> and I have Is this the also distract? <laughs> I love these guys. Uh I got nothing else to do, I guess. We're waiting for the next day, right? In trial. However, the discussion that follows does not yield much progress. Well, that's it for snack time. Yeah. I'm going to have another look around the area. You do that. I don't know what we're looking for yet. But she is Geo. I see her As thing. Attorneys, I suggest the two of you think the case <sighs> over again. I really hope she's good, though. Geo is so weak. Geo needs to be buffed. I'm still it pulling for her. I don't awkward care. If you got all tongue-tied on stage during the trial. I know. Mostly for this. Well, actually, for both. You're right. Oh, it was nothing. A small task for the Spina di Rosula. Di Rosula. So, Malus, it's time to go. I'll miss you. Bye. I'll be back if I find anything new. Her hair is beautiful as well, actually. Probably the third pe per 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 Okay, no third person is our guess. I was that far for okay. a while. It's time to put our heads together. We've okay. We've gotta get our defense ready for the trial. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's probably gonna be a long and difficult case. Uh-huh. There's no point in worrying about that now. We just need to prepare. How do we do that? Here, take Pylon's notes. They should help you review the situation. Sure. How? <laughs> How do I take the notes? Is it even a real thing? Oh, here it is. Read. Why would it be him? Oh, we're still missing a couple things. Can I go back in there? I'm very intrigued. I'm very, very intrigued. Just out of curiosity. We can. I think there's gonna be more. Like, there has to be something we can find. I do really need to, like every good criminal, use the restroom for a second, so I'll be right back. I feel like it's odd. I feel like there's more down here. Because the book has open options, basically. A broken mirror. Not enough room, supposedly. Trolley. Some book, some clothes, nothing's missing. Strange storage boxes. Sit. <laughs> Did nothing. Maybe I can't get more. Maybe you unlock them by thinking about it? I don't know. Um, let me just check. Maybe you can unlock more options simply by... Oh look, child's vision. Lost control of the villain's power when it's before. Provision has lost his glow and the owner has left it behind. Oh yeah, well that helps as well, I guess. Alright, here we go. Because the girl threw him in there. Oh gosh. No wonder the serial disappearances never got solved. Fair. We all heard that noise, didn't we? We all <laughs> the face the man. performance would not have been visible from where the doors were guarded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if Paimon were on duty, she would have snuck back into the audience seating. That's great to hear. Well, there was no chance Paimon could have seen that the box had two layers. Uh-huh. And that's why only the two of them can perform this trick. <laughs> the thanks. There was no third person. And Paimon didn't eat more than three macarons either. Uh, is the culprit still here? Digging a tunnel just for a magic trick? Whew. That must have been a lot of work. I mean, it's a stage. It's, you build it like that. That size wouldn't have been a problem for Paimon. Now you're, now you're talking. Maybe the other person might have been like the guard at the front door. A small Whoever person like the that. Murderer was, they must have made preparations well beforehand. Yeah. This rope was obviously tampered with. Uh huh. People so was this. To register and reserve a seat for the show. <gasps> that, combined with this number selector, could allow you to pick a young lady instead of some old folky. Maybe I'm completely beside it. A prop too. Hmm. Oh, looks like it could hook onto a lot of things. <gasps> like the traveler's fishing rod. <laughs> sure. Hmm. This flower vase is probably a prop for the show. But it also could have been used in the crime. How? Paimon doesn't get this at all. You think about it for a bit, traveler. I mean, my my the only theory I have is what I'm still standing by it. I'm gonna wait one day. I don't have any idea other than the girl is the thief from the start. She's bad. Let me see. Is this? Oh, wow! Everything changed back there. There's like spinning cogs and everything. Participate in the trial. That's wild. <laughs> you see how perfectly I stopped in front of it though. What do we do? You slept with that thing on. I do have some thoughts, but let's take it step by step. Good plan. Impossible things don't 
just happened. Mm -hmm. We'll get to the truth one way or another. It's not impossible if it happened, you know. Uh, just relax. Even if everyone else suspects Lenny and Lynette, mm -hmm. at least we will be supporting them from the stands. Sure. Besides, I doubt Farina understands any more about what happens than we do. Except if she's involved. <laughs> Thanks, Navia. Well, we'll be going then. Paimon, you're so hard to take seriously. Best of luck to you. Thanks, Navia. So sweet. So kind. So pretty. Big fan. Alright. Very quiet. Very quiet. Ah, finally, you're back. Hello. Well, how did your investigation go? I mean, I have an idea. To be honest, you might be disappointed. I wonder if I missed things. I wonder if I could have gone back, because I tried, but I, I don't think I could have found these other things. I was missing one here and two in the tunnel. I don't know. No, no. I should have used vision. Very grateful Elemental vision. I wonder if that would have done anything. Well, now, don't you all look disappointed? Don't tell me that your investigation came up empty-handed. Why are you so happy about this? Why are you so mean? I thought the Archon was supposed to be there for the people. That was to be expected, of course. The guilty can never produce proof of their innocence. I don't like you. But don't let that stop you. I shall be terribly disappointed should you, my most anticipated foe, concede so easily. Just you wait. Since both parties are present, I declare that the trial regarding the magic show incident is now in session. Lovely. Firstly, in order for the audience to understand the causes and results of the incident, he's got some pace in, could we please in have speech. Mr. Linney explain the trick. Go for it. Yes, of course. I will explain while Lynette demonstrates on stage. All the necessary down like items a cat. have been prepared. Linney clearly reveals the details of the magic trick. Everyone in the audience is Thank stunned. Thank you, Mr. Linney. In that case, I take your statement to be that. You ran to and remained hidden within the magic box in the audience stands once the trick began. Yes. And thus could not have committed the crime. Is this correct? That is the alibi. I did talk about the murderer in the tear. Yes. <laughs> Ironically. That's correct, Your Honor. In that case, I call upon the prosecution. Lady Farina. Do you wish to refute his statement in any way? Let's see how good you are at this. Why, of course I do. Allow me to take the first shot and break this case wide open. <sighs> Mr. Lenny is clearly lying. What are you pointing to? There is no way you could have been in the box the whole oh. time if you were to abduct Halsey and murder Cowell. <laughs> in fact, I'd say you were hardly in that tunnel at all. But you're... <laughs> you're not... What? <laughs> you're not... She's using... What? She's using... A thing that's not even, I don't know how to say this in English, but she's using something that's not been proven to be true as an argument to say something that she thinks. That is simply your hypothesis based on the presumption that I'm guilty. Thank you. You know how to word it. I don't. Oh, is that Ooh, so? split screen. And if I may ask, what did you hear while you were inside your box? Okay. The roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. That's how I kept track of the time and built anticipation for the finale. Uh-huh. And you didn't hear anything else at all? Nothing that might leave an impression of any kind? Mm hmm No, nothing. All right. I see. No vase. But when the count reached 30 seconds or so, there was a thud. One so loud that I believe <laughs> practically everyone Excuse heard it. Uh-huh. Huh? Huh? How did she hear it from all the way there? How could Liddy not know about that sound? Yeah, I'm sure he could have heard a noise that loud from inside the box. Okay. I was right by the box and I definitely heard the thud. Okay. <laughs> Look at those scales. Wow. Could those mean... It probably the stands of the oratrice on the trial. <laughs> well then, ladies and gentlemen, Allow me to use the words of the magician himself. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Uh huh. Indeed, it seems his alibi can also collapse. In She's the gonna blink laugh, isn't eye. she? <laughs> yeah. Of course, I have armed myself to do far more than smash your alibi. Have you done it yourself? Confidence cannot go unfounded, and my foundations all are right, rock all right. solid. All right, all right, all right, Farina. Tell me. Aren't you and Lynette actually from the House of the Hearth? Whoa, black bars. The House of the Hearth? 
their Fatui? Hmm. <laughs> no wonder they did something like this. <laughs> So the serial disappearances were the Fatui's doing. Everyone knows the Fatui here? Sense. Oh wow, this is crazy. In other towns, no one knows got about the Fatui. I a feeling that what happened on stage probably wasn't just an accident. A uh, rational audience member. Uh. That's irrelevant. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. Wow. Indeed. They're Fatui. Then perhaps you could tell us everything that happened during that one minute. Yeah, sure. Your first priority is to prove yourself innocent after all. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there is little that needs to be kept secret now. Unless your script already has holes in it. Am I siding with the baddies? Nah. Nah. Is it my time to shine? <laughs> the Outlander is speechless. <laughs> my, oh my, don't they look flabbergasted. Your ego's so huge, you're celebrating beside your own body. Fighting in Discord, I suppose. Mm -hmm. This was almost too easy. All right, let's go. Counter arguments I time. All those preparations. Seems the all nighter I pulled last night is really paying off. Uh huh. Hey, Linny, why didn't you tell us this before? Well, it doesn't really matter for anything, does it? Linny and Lynette are for two. Order, order. Mr. Linney, allow I hear me the to scales. establish the facts. Lady Farina has raised two points. Uh -huh. First, when the thud was heard in the opera house, you were neither in the box nor the tunnel. Second, you and Ms. Lynette are both members of the House of the Hearth. I don't see... I did not realize... I've, I've read so much about the House of the Hearth, I had no idea that meant the Fatui at all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm, now I know, and now I wonder what I heard this from. Was it during this quest, or was it some random citizen telling me about this? But I've definitely read something about the House of the Hearth. Um, the first part's intriguing. Claims true. The second one definitely is. No doubt about a magician's ability to con others. Given how Linny has concealed his identity, this could have all been set up beforehand. Plus, Child is here in Fontaine, along, I just said the American way, with house operatives. There must be some scheme at work here. I've been a victim of such before, and now. Please answer my question, Mr. Linney. Do not let my patience run out. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, they're true, Your Honor. Interesting. Yet. I knew it! So you stop, Karen. This is such a Karen. Well, that's it. We might as well move on to the sentencing already. <laughs> Get the guillotine out. <laughs> Permission to speak, Your Honor. Granted. Thank you. My client has withheld some key information. In My defense cannot case, proceed. What is your request? I request a brief adjournment. There are things that must be discussed. Is that really necessary? They're already as good as guilty. The Who are you? The defendant deceived their own attorneys. She's pretty. What is there left to discuss? Much. Order. Order, I say. Use a little hammer. Bonk, bonk. Your request is reasonable, and we shall adjourn. Mm-hmm. This trial will reconvene in one hour. If yet you are... A beautiful man. <laughs> so you would stick to Mr. Lenny's defense even after knowing what you do now? Uh-huh. You certainly have more professionalism than I thought. You have uh, lots of thoughts about me In that, that aren't case, right. My dear audience, let's allow the joy of victory to steep for a little <laughs> while longer. <laughs> Her dress looks nice from behind at least, and this is usually what you'd see when you're running around, so I guess that's a win. While well, court is adjourned, you meet with Linny and Lynette in backstage of the Opera House. <laughs> We're not happy. Well, this is awkward. Uh huh. I didn't think the Hydro Archon would dig all that up. I feel like, did we know this from the first video that got released? I don't remember. I'm sorry, Traveler and Paimon. I don't know. I don't feel that bad about it. Yeah, sorry. <sighs> Hey, she took off her done. nose. We trusted you two. Well, it's not like I don't know. I feel like you can be Fatui. Child is also Fatui, and we're like friends with him, so I don't know what the deal is. We based our entire reasoning on the assumption that you weren't bad guys. I'd still assume this isn't something they've done. Not to set the wrong tone or anything, but Paimon's really mad. Maybe it is. I'm very sorry. I know you're angry, and reasonably so, but please. 
Let me explain. I want to hear this. I know you've clashed with the Vatui several times before. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if just hearing the word is enough to make you upset. Some of the things they do are pretty messed up, yeah. But our organization is very, very large, and the Harbingers have very different personalities and goals. Mm -hmm. Right now, we want to save people, as many as we can. Okay. That's right. I'm sure we're on the same page when it comes to this nation and the disaster that its people might face. <laughs> wow, maybe I was completely beside it. I knew if it weren't for our respective identities, we could become good friends. Uh-huh. That's why I didn't wish to flat out lie to you, but chose to hide some details instead. I see. The truth is very important, but being completely transparent about everything would see us spending more effort than we need to. Uh-huh, but how can we know this isn't all just another lie? Right. So, you be the judge. Heck, if I were you, I fear that I'd even struggle to trust me at this point. Uh-huh, you're not gaining empathy for saying that. You met a Fatus who works as a magician, a trickster by trade. All by coincidence, too. Mm-hmm. But still, I'm asking you to trust me. I am no criminal. <laughs> at least, not in this case. <laughs> not okay. I am a criminal, but not here. Sorry. Please forgive us. I mean, I just want to know, did you do this? Well, you both say that, but... Explain the other issue first. Where did you actually go while the trick was being performed? Right. Let's hear your answer first, and no lies now! Of course. Huh. I'll answer any question you ask. Okay, go for it then. Chop, We've chop. We got an hour. we to find out how the Oratrice operates. Mm -hmm. We want to know why it has a consciousness. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? Okay. During our investigations, we learned that the machine's core is beneath it. I see. From that moment on, Lynette and I have been designing this box swap trick uh -huh. with the objective of getting close to the core. Okay. Is that why you needed a whole minute? Maybe. That's right. In truth, the audience would take about 75 seconds to count down from 60, while I would only need 15 to get to the opposite box. Uh huh. So, after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the Opera House basement via the vent, ah. and went to investigate the room in which the core is stored. Okay. That air vent was created during the construction of the tunnel specifically to execute this step. And what did you find? Well, nothing. As soon as I reached that room and was about to investigate, I heard someone's voice. Mm -hmm. Which should have been impossible, of course. I was quite certain that I was the only one in the room. Okay. That voice seemed to recognize me and tried to speak to me. I chose to err on the side of caution and retreated the way I came. Mm -hmm. On the way what kind back, of voice? I saw the broken vase and the clothes on the ground. But the countdown was almost finished, so there wasn't time to give it any thought. <laughs> okay. After that, the homicide occurred just as you saw. Uh-huh. Well, that explains why you didn't hear the thud. Then, where in the world did the girl end up then? Why do you want to understand how the oratories... Oratrice operates. Because of that prophecy I told you about, of course. We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. Uh-huh. That's the only way we can save everyone. Interesting. So, there you have it. The whole truth. I swear, I didn't hide anything from you this I time. I want to hear what the voice of the person is that seemed to recognize him. It was never my wish to proceed under this cloud of mistrust either. Uh-huh, sure. But like I said earlier, you can be the judge. If you want to leave because you don't trust the Fatui, there's nothing I can do to stop you. No, again, I don't care. I'm friends with child. It's not like the Fatui is the end of the world. Well, Traveler, you decide. Can I actually? I follow your lead however you choose. I believe in the facts. I will defend... Ooh, I will defend you from these charges. I believe that judgment will be dispensed as it should. Okay, thank you. Thanks for giving us a chance. Yeah. The sure. current problem is that the scales are tipped pretty badly against you two. Yeah, if we need we to come up with some bangers. <laughs> we're gonna need a seriously watertight defense. Actually, we already have the key evidence we need. Huh? The German's almost over. Let's go back. Hmm. I love when our oh, character supposedly knows what's going on. What you mean? Lenny statements claims that the, he headed to the chamber co uh, containing the Oratrice core upon entering the tunnel and did not witness the crown taking place, and thus did not hear the thud. The voice. I want to hear about this. Why did we not ex ask more about this? Claims to hear a voice there. But whose? Whose voice? This is a cool area too. Very neat. Very nice. And also, where the heck did those donuts go? <laughs> where did the macaron? <laughs> where did the macaron go? Continue the trial. This is so cool, man. I can't believe they went through all this. 
I really hope they bring it back. I hope it's not a one-time thing, but, you know, it probably takes a lot of effort. Brief adjournment ends and the nail-biting trial re reconvenes. It wasn't really nail-biting, was it? Both to their positions. Uh-huh. Let us continue the trial. Sure. When last we left off, Mr. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as fact. Mm -hmm. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction of the events. Okay. Ugh, that took long enough. <laughs> now then, if everyone would lend me their attention. Uh huh. At this stage, let's revisit that scene from Linney's perspective. Whoa, speed lines. Based on the opposition's account of events, you can identify loopholes in their statement. Use evidence and clues obtained during this is so cool investigation to refute any er erroneous assertions of fact and replace them with new interferences. Using refutations to convince the audience and obtain more support from the people, the oratrice will display such shift clearly. When you find and refute all incorrect content, you can complete the cycle of refutation and unveil the truth. This is hype as fuck. What the hell? As the countdown began, this could be a card game. The tunnel. Okay. When the flatbed trolley passed, he opened the box and got into an altercation <laughs> with Halsey, which caused the loud thud. So true. He did not realize that this sound could be heard by everyone in the opera house, mm -hmm. which is why he claimed earlier that he could not hear the sound. Uh huh. Finally, he used the vase to knock her out <laughs> before making her change clothes to prevent others from recognizing her. Uh huh. At this time, Cowell arrived in the tunnel, having heard that strange noise, and caught Linny red-handed. <gasps> So Linny no. proceeded to knock him out too before stuffing him into that box. Which is definitely the strength he has. Afterward, Linny passed the unconscious Halsey to his accomplice through the magic box in the audience stands. <laughs> okay. Before operating the devices such that Cal's death would be ruled an accident. Uh-huh. Okay. And there you have it. That's the truth. Behind what <laughs> this happened. is so cool, actually. Does the defendant's side have any objections to Lady Farina's description of the events? Many, in fact. The key to refuting Lady Farina is the order of events. Mm -hmm. What Looney experienced and what he saw. Uh huh. Let's see how this works. <clears throat> so, identify loopholes. Um. Okay. He did enter the tunnel. Identify loophole here. Uh, did not witness the crime taking place, did not hear the thud. No one left the opera house during the magic show and after the incident happened. The chamber that house the oratrice score within. Young lady's clothes. Must have been very confused when he saw them. Kidnapped Halsey. Lenny was really at the tunnel. Was Lenny really at the tunnel at the time? I think, uh, this is the thud. Successfully refuted. He left via the vent after entering the tunnel. Mm-hmm. He couldn't have had that altercation with Halsey. I know. So true. Left the tunnel. Kidnaps. So, wasn't he really in the tunnel at the time? No. He was... He heard voices. Linny went to the room that contains the Oratrice's core. Uh-huh. This is the actual truth. So true, bestie! Existing evidence indicates that when Linny returned to the tunnel, the crime had already taken place. All Linny saw was these clothes. Lenny did not take part in the underground altercation. Uh-huh. He only witnessed traces of the aftermath. Yes. That's it already? <laughs> See, Ace, I told you. Uh-huh. When the countdown started, Lenny did indeed go into the tunnel. I wish we said this. It'd be so much cooler, but whatever. immediately used a vent to access the Opera House basement, which is where the underground core of the Oratrice is this is gonna start a new trial against him, because this probably also wasn't legal. Once he reached that area, he heard a voice in what should have been an empty room. Since he felt something was amiss, he returned immediately! <laughs> the crime scene had already developed by the time he reached the tunnel again! Uh -huh. And in order to complete the magic trick, he did not remain there for any length of time! Mm -hmm. Finally, he reached the surface! And that was when the accident happened from his point of view. <laughs> Therefore, he's innocent. Let's go, Paimon. Clean, my queen. Give us that equal balance. Successful refutation. All right. Cool. Very nice. Good job, us. Didn't miss anything. Oh. One time, <laughs> she got her mustache back on. Paimon actually managed to sell that. Uh huh. Look at her cheeks. Wasn't it awesome? Yeah, you did great. In other words, 
You believe that he knew nothing of the incident? Indeed. That's right! Moreover, I believe my opposition's reasoning is flawed. <laughs> My reasoning? The onstage equipment was clearly tampered with in a premeditated fashion. However, you said that Cowell bumped into Lenny by chance. If that's the case, then if Cowell hadn't entered the tunnel, who was the entire setup meant to kill? Aha! Uh -huh. Assuming that what you say is true, Lenny only needed to kidnap the young girl to <laughs> cause a new disappearance case. Mm -hmm. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Real. Oh, they have a point. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, you tell them! I love her! And that's why they're partners of mine. <laughs> They've managed to turn things around. Hell yes. Well, your denial is very strident. I'll give you that. But what proof do you have to back your claims? Do you happen to remember how you refuted Linny's alibi initially? <laughs> been in the magic box the whole time how could he have not heard that sound why do you ask <laughs> you're saying that he wasn't yes indeed <laughs> your claim has now become my weapon your claim has also become a critical clue choose the most reasonable events wait which is the evidence that Linny wasn't in the tunnel when the crime took place <laughs> irrelevant Strange sound during the magic show. No one left the opera house during the magic show and the incident happened. Only those cleared by the guards could leave. Which is the evidence that Lenny wasn't in the tunnel when a crime took place? The thud. That's right! Lenny wasn't in the box or in the tunnel! That's why he didn't hear anything strange during the performance! Uh-huh. This means that when the crime happened, Lenny had already entered the basement via the vent. Okay, so it was just obvious from the start. The cool. Same clue you used to disprove his alibi <laughs> has now become the best proof. <laughs> How do you like that? I like them apples. <laughs> well played. Yes. <laughs> to think you'd use such logic. Yeah. Well then, if it wasn't Linny who committed the crimes, then who was it? It was the lady. The murderer was. Select the gear icon in the interface and check the corresponding case questions. Select your answers and fill all the empty gears to verify the correctness of your deduction. If you've made a mistake, you must take another selection from the remaining options. Okay, complete. I want to. I want to first try this. How did the culprit culprit trigger the stage? And, okay, wait. Holy shit! So much text. How did the culprit trigger the onstage accident? The guards' investigative report indicates the fireworks released near the end of the show ignited and burned through the rope suspending the water tank. This caused the water tank to coat Cowell in the box below. If Lenny's no longer under suspicion, the only member of the troop that would have been able to tamper with the props. Then he gave a detailed account of how the trick was supposed to work by using a box inside the box. The idea was for the box containing the audience member to be transported across via a tunnel underneath, and Lenny himself would also use this tunnel to get to the other side. Original plan for the performance. Having changed her outfit, Lynette and her assistant would take, cha or take charge of the onstage interactions. The clothes belonging to Helsey, the lady who went missing, were found in the tunnel. The reason for this remains unknown. Okay. Who was the, who was the only person that could have potentially committed the crime? Halsey is the missing person and an ordinary audience member. Uh-huh. Or did she have her own scheme all along? Yes. Could there have been a third person no, involved? No. No. Is that really a possibility? We've 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 said it wasn't a hundred times. His name is Cowell, Lenny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. Yeah, his plan was to die on stage all along. Person. All right, come on. Incorrect. Really. Damn, I've been saying it was her the entire time. <laughs> the deceased's name is Cowell, Lenny's assistant. Really? He only learned to know them, like, he only got to know them recently. Really? I would have never guessed this. Huh? Uh, that can't be right. Are you serious? I wouldn't have guessed this either. I'm sorry, Detective Paimon. Uh, um, the killer was, in fact, Cowell, <laughs> the deceased! Where's the girl? <laughs> Now I'm stunned. What I must do next is recreate the truth. Uh huh. What Cowell did and how he went from would be perpetrator to victim. Okay. Jeez, how can we envisage Linny as having been unable to interfere with the crime? No one entered or left the opera house through its entrances. Uh huh. 
So, where would the criminal have wanted to take Halsey? Yeah, true. Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. I mean, this, this I agree. The, sound we the heard, thud doesn't matter yet. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. Yeah. They would likely have bumped into Lenny. Okay, well, Lenny I'd say this, his statement. Select any clue to view. How can I prove that there was an altercation in the tunnel? The thud. The sound we heard Fair enough. Uh, who is the prime suspect currently? The deceased's name is Cowell. Simon Cowell. Where the missing Hilsey go? I don't know. She's still here. She just knocked out somewhere? In a box? Oh. It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. Must be this fear someone attract attention. Where the missing Hilsey go? Well, huh? By herself through the vent? No, I was that's, that makes no sense at all. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. So, there must have been some fear that she would attract attention. How does that make sense? I don't understand. They're all incorrect. The criminal must have understood the methods behind Lenny's magic trick, and must have been in a position to easily modify the equipments. Leaving aside how he died, Cowell had all the means to commit the crime at his disposal. The strange noise could have likely been the sound of Cowell and Hilsey struggling. Lenny was not in the tunnel for one minute. This would have given time for Cowell to bring Hilsey out of the magic box in the audience stands. But according to the guard's testimony, no one entered or left the opera. So, even if he had taken her, there'd be no means of exiting. Exiting from the box would have been in full view of the audience, pretty much guaranteeing that they would be discovered. What's wrong, Traveler? Are you still having trouble figuring things out? <laughs> Where in the world did Hilsey go? <laughs> I see how it is. So this was all just a bluff. No. And here I thought you had something to show for it. But it seems you're still far from the truth. Okay, do you know the truth? Look, since we're at a dead end, why not consider a different track? Thank you. Just like the trick as it transpired, the end result must have been utterly different from the magician's initial design. <laughs> why do you seem to know more? If only we knew how Halsey disappeared. She's just stuffed in a box there, like half yeah, knocked out. She's still there then. But it's not like this is a magic trick where you can just make a real live person disappear. You know, like you did from that water tank, Lynette. Magic? Escaping from the water tank? Wait, could it have been the water? Oh. <laughs> Excuse my is she like a <laughs> dear opponent. Is she like an ocean head? <laughs> that the crowd is growing impatient it's there fine no greater sin in the scale is still not tipped than an awkward delay in the performance uh-huh well it's not a performance so we good oh god it's tipping <laughs> i jinxed it it's right it's right if the defense is unable to make further effective arguments mm -hmm. we will move on to the next stage of the trial give us a second we're thinking hold on a second Okay. Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment. Time. <laughs> How can we envisage, envisage Lenny as having been unable to interfere with the crime? The yeah. sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. Altercation in the tunnel. The deceased's name is Cowell, uh -huh. Lenny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. Prime suspect. Where did the missing Halsey go? The vase was not broken by chance. It was used to cover important evidence. The water. Huh. How'd she teleport out, though? How'd she do that? That's crazy. <laughs> I would have never guessed this either. Oh, Paimon gets it! It all comes together if Halsey disappeared instead of being kidnapped! Uh huh. Lynette escaped from the water tank, vanishing gradually and leaving only clothes behind. Oh, there was a very specific moment where the clothes were floating in the water tank. I guess that does make sense. They were really hinting at it, huh? Wow. If there's a similar method where a person could be transformed into water... Uh-huh. <laughs> Just a moment, please. I do hope you know how preposterous you sound at the moment. I don't know what that word means, so I don't know what you're saying. How could a person 
person ever be transformed into water? This is reality we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. Not some magic trick. A reality in which Mona can dash as a puddle of water. I request that we examine Cowell's personal effects. We might find something there. <sighs> Must we really? Mm -hmm. I should think that of anyone. Your friend Linny already knows this truth very well. He seems pretty confident. He's almost smirking a little bit. Magic tricks are ultimately just illusions and uh -huh. misdirection. Uh -huh. But Halsey's disappearance is very real. We're talking about two completely <laughs> different things. Uh huh. Even so, I trust the traveler's judgment. Thanks, Lenny. The truth must be out there somewhere. Perhaps some new line of reasoning may open if we try to gather all the focal points that don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Since Cal was the deceased, we haven't placed much attention on him. Yeah. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belongings, would it? Uh huh. <sighs> People really do come up with all sorts of harebrained schemes when at the end of their rope. The way I see it, I mean, if we're allowed your to. Your suggestion that we broaden the scope of our investigation is nothing but a tactic for stalling the trial. Yeah, and then what will we achieve? We just still get banished in a second. Nevertheless, I believe that this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Thank you, Nivia. Since the trial does indeed appear nice to boots. be at an impasse, I believe that additional evidence may help us make more progress. Lovely. Guards, please step into the lounge and examine the personal effects of the deceased Cowell. Haha. <laughs> After some time, the guard, oh, a guard, returns with news. We are still examining the items, but we have already made critical a progress that we feel must be shared with everyone a post haste. A a a a we discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage, mm -hmm. each labeled separately. Really now? The notebook in his backpack claims that these fluids are water from the primordial sea. I see. The primordial sea. I see. Get it. The note's contents also indicate that Cowell belonged to an organization that sells illegal drugs and that he had an accomplice. Jesus. The notebook has many entries concerning the hell? usage of these fluids, in which the keyword dissolve appears many times. Uh huh. One of these tubes was labeled Opera Epicles, mm -hmm. along with yesterday's date. It is empty. Hey. The notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclusively on people from Fontaine. Mm -hmm. It's likely that Halsey was chosen as some sort of test subject. Hmm. Another test subject. As such, we believe that the defense's hypothesis is, in fact, hey, supported hey, hey, by sufficient hey. evidence. Let's go! You've got to be kidding! People dissolving into water? And you could too. With a fresh new tube of seawater, I don't know what it's called anymore, for $9.99 at your local store. Could something if you are so from Fontaine. Ridiculous actually be true? I don't know, maybe. Ma ma this reminds me of a certain prophecy, but it's just a coincidence, isn't it? Yeah, a coinky dink, I think. Huh. If people can become water, does that mean that the water tank's real use was as a means to hide water stains? Uh huh. And if Cowell was targeting that girl. Uh huh. Wait just a minute. Could that mean. You two, with me, quick! Yeet. Demoiselle, wait! What about your partners? They'll be fine. Mm, let's go. Just trust me. Is order, she just gonna be there? Order. Oh, he did bonk! Legend! <laughs> he actually bonk bonked. It is with a stick. That further he does, he has a stick as a weapon. Personal effects has That'd be wild. Surprising results. That's his banner weapon. We cannot yet verify the veracity of these clues. Actually, you probably just have a normal sword and that's his E. Still, let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic. Albeit with the understanding that Ms. Halsey has yet to be found. Did they run? Did my friends actually run? Guards, please continue examining the items along these lines. He's so happy. Mr. Linney, it appears your hypothesis is supported by the evidence. So please continue speaking. A of course. Thank you, Your Honor. Banger. If we uphold this hypothesis, <laughs> I believe stash. that many of this case's seemingly unrelated clues can be connected together. Go for it. Right! Like the metal hook! That one didn't make sense at all. Uh huh. Hmm. Let's think about this. Kyle Did she throw it at the jar as she drove by? Water from the primordial sea. Uh huh. Sure. Who is the prime suspect? It's the still Cowell. Name is Cowell. What item did he use to control the timing of the dissolution? Lynette was in the magic box on stage the entire time. It's the countdown. I remember there was something else within the inner layer of that box. Audience side magic box structure. The balloons. There were a bunch of balloons. 
How does that time anything? When they start deflating or something? What item did the culprit use to control the timing of the dissolution? The or does it like this? The hook rope was not meant for another magic trick. But yeah. was instead some form of triggering mechanism. Oh. This thing was attached to maybe the cart and would pull the vase down as, as you drive past it? There's no explanation for it. What item did they use? The, the water, water the primordial, primordial sea. sea should already have been prepped before primordial bishop. The magic box. Yeah, it was in the jar. Um, what item did the culprit use to hide the mechanism behind the crime? Culprit used to hide the mechanism behind the crime. The rope is useless here, no? How can you use that to hide the mechanism? Or is that actually intended? Like the fact that thing would fall and it wasn't supposed to kill anyone, but the girl was strong enough to just shove this guy in the box? box on stage the entire time i kind of feel like it's the rope i want to say this just because i'm i'm not sure uh, let's go with the, the rope it's the only thing that the... oh wait what does she say about it the deceased's name is yeah yeah the rope that strung the water tank up was lit by the fireworks and cut as such the focus here is on the water and not the tank <laughs> i had to try it this then the balloons I remember the balloons. I don't see how they would affect anything. I'm interested to hear this. Cutscene time, I think. Ahem. You scared the crap out of me, Paimon. This quest is so long, it's like midnight. That was a jump scare to me. In the original plan, Cowl would tamper with the water tank rope and the number selector securing his target. Okay. When the magic box containing Halsey was lowered, the metal <laughs> hook would retract gradually and pierce the balloon. Top of the box. Uh-huh. Okay. Pierce the balloon. Oh, that's where the water was. Oh. Why are they floating? When the magic box in the house was lowered, the metal hook would retract and gradually pierce the balloon. When the balloon attached to the box popped, the water from the primordial sea inside it would pour down and dissolve Halsey. Okay. Afterward, Cowl would enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel with the remaining evidence being covered up by the water tank on stage enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel so like okay the water from the balloons to hide that it was wet you would just destroy the, the jar with water in it okay remaining evidence being covered up by the water tank on stage but he encountered something unexpected in the tunnel and wound up being by the same water tank he meant to use to cover his tracks. Okay, so our queen huh. is just a strong independent queen and beat him up. That actually links together a lot of the more confusing pieces of evidence. <laughs> even? How is it even there? Best for us. What do I do? Even I think they sound convincing now. Have I falsely accused an innocent person? Yes. <laughs> What a humiliation. It's okay, we'll let you slip this time. Now, it seems like the only point of contention remaining is the exact circumstances that led to Cal's death. Uh-huh. I can't believe His it's not the thief girl. <laughs> an accomplice who could be related to the situation. Uh-huh. On that note, the guards have just contacted me indicating that they uncovered new evidence. Perfect timing. I shall now invite him on stage to share it with us. Thank you. Whoa, guard! Whoa. Thank you, Your Honor. Vaughn. We were just inspecting the luggage of the other people involved in this case. Uh-huh. And we found an identical sample of the water from the Primordial Sea among Linny's personal effects. That was just planted evidence, no? What? That can't be. Recently planted. The girl's actually a part of it. <laughs> I won't back down. Attack only to come back and wound you. I don't believe it. Does this not clear all doubt? We have more evidence. We ate donuts. Some were stolen. The culprit is still in here. My dear citizens, my loyal audience. Oh my god. Allow me to present my reasoning and bring this performance to a swift close. We're gonna stall again. Hey, we're going again. Let's hear it. What do you think? Linny did not need to take part in the dissolution of the young woman at all. Mm -hmm. Indeed, he did leave the scene via the vent. Okay, I can't click. Having made modifications to the props beforehand, 
His accomplice Cowl then caused Halsey to vanish using the water from the primordial sea. Okay. But upon his return and cruel avarice, Linny desired sole credit and prepared to do away with his partner in crime. <laughs> wow, so dense. Ultimately, he knocked Cowl out, and the tool meant to cover the crime up also became a murder weapon. Okay. Now, as much as I regret having come to such a viciously straightforward conclusion, it does seem How is that the fame for so is quite the cold blooded and ruthless organization. Mm hmm. If she dissolved right, into water, Mr. Linny, is she just dead? We've used up all the evidence we collected. There's no way for us to make a rebuttal here. Yes, there is. Our stolen donuts. Is this the end of the road? No, it isn't. My queen is still walking around somewhere. She has more evidence. They went down there. Oh. Mm. I can't think of anything either. It doesn't look like there's any way around it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Our queen's going back soon. Seems using the water as new evidence was too good a move. Oh, why did this have to happen now? I can't stop thinking about her macaron. I think we've all seen enough now. And we have Put your hand out to me. witnesses to my flawless reasoning. And they're like, she has another thing. Listen, I have more evidence. I believe this is indeed the finale. No, it's not. Stop. Pause. Well then, my good, noble Chief Justice, should we not... My queen bumps in. Uh, excuse me, everyone. I love you. I must interject. I love you, Navia. Miss, I must ask you not to <laughs> shout and to respect the ongoing legal procedure. She's my assistant. Let her speak. Oh, come on. Don't be hasty. I have a good reason for interrupting, you know. Everyone's listening. Now, would anyone here like to take a little break from all this debate and see a little <laughs> magic? <laughs> this is not the way to introduce this. I'll show you an amazing trick. One that can bring a young woman uh. who has disappeared back in the flesh right before your very eyes. It was all part of the Please, trick still, guys. Do the honors, Mr. Linny, if you would be so kind. Oh. But what in the world is she saying? We're still in the act, guys. No offense, miss, but miracles like that are beyond my scope as a magician. Wow, he's not even aware of his part of a trick now, yet. Don't be silly. Magic is all about misdirection, isn't it? It often conceals the truth while presenting a fascinating illusion. Uh huh. But once everyone believes the illusion, can't magic the reveal kings? the truth to them once again? Fontaine? No, Poisson? And <laughs> such a trick be the most marvelous finale to today's performance? Uh huh. Come on, Lenny and Lynette. Give it another go. Don't worry. Spina de Rosita they just, they're just made there. the necessary arrangements on your behalf. Put his sunglasses on. But, as the magic makers and stars of the show, I think I should leave the final performance to you. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Yo. What a twist -a -roo. Click. And voila. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. Wow. Hey guys. Um uh, sorry for the interruption. <laughs> it wasn't the thief at all. I'm just brainwashed. Wait, isn't that Halsey? Uh-huh. So the whole thing about people dissolving wasn't true after all? Baited, but we still don't know why he's dead though. To be clear, I'm only here because this person told me that if I testified, the merit of doing so would lessen my sentence. Wait, okay, so she, she is the thief. <laughs> I, I'm going nuts. I was hiding outside this room listening to the proceedings because I was afraid that I would be the one put on trial. Uh-huh. I was just feeling happy that no one had noticed me. And then before I knew it, she caught me. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you to underestimate us three. Navia, my beloved. Where should I begin? And the two boys in suits. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I, I was right from the, the fucking start! Cattle. I admit it. What? I knew Why? it! Firstly, my name isn't Halsey. <sighs> it's Lillian. <sighs> and I'm originally from Mondstadt. Lillian from Mondstadt. You little pickpocket. I heard that Linny's show was gonna be a real thriller. But I missed the chance I knew to buy it. a ticket. I knew so it's her. I stole one. I'm not insane, guys. I'm not That's insane. How I, make a living. I steal Aww. stuff here and there. I'm and so relieved, I've man. Never been caught before. Yes, you did. He caught you. That's why you killed him. But I was noticed at the harbor a few days ago. Uh -huh. And I barely got away. Uh-huh. Lenny was the one who caught me in the act. I'm so relieved that I'm not insane. <laughs> hey! No wonder you look familiar. So you were 
you're the thief. I thought he knew. I thought that's why she was picked in the audience. Liddy even mentioned that you were pretty skilled. <laughs> well, and I thought that would have been the end of it, but then the number selector chose me. Oh, so she didn't temper with it. Maybe Linny did know. He even mentioned the Fortress of Meripede. I knew it! I knew it? it! So you can imagine how shocked I was. Uh -huh. I thought he was on to me for sure. Uh huh. So I played along with the show while looking for an opening to flee. But then I got water poured on me for no reason, and then someone jumped into the tunnel to nab me. Wait, so maybe maybe the assistant was still actually bad. I wasn't going to take that lying down, so I knocked him out and stuffed him into the box. Queen shit. There was nowhere to run from there, though, so I had to change my clothes and hide in a box containing performance costumes. I knew, and I'm still pissed we didn't check. I slipped out after the first guard arrived at the scene uh -huh. and continued hiding inside the opera house. You stole two biscuits. Can a person even hide in there? Uh, if they're practice hand and concealment. Wait, if they're practice. I'm very tired. It's been a while. <laughs> a professional thief can make it work. But I swear, I didn't know that the water tank would fall down. Really, I swear it. I believe you. Had I known that, I wouldn't have put him in the magic box. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. I believe it. Well, that makes everything pretty clear now, doesn't it? Yeah, now it's time to refute the Hydra Archon's previous reasoning. This time. We need to tell <sighs> the entire story from Lillian's perspective. Let's see. Am I a complete Mourinho or not? It's my turn. Lenny entered the tunnel. Identify loopholes. Well, he did. He did enter the tunnel. She dissolved. How would Helsey have reacted when the water from the primordial thing? Um, let's see. How would she have reacted when the water suddenly began, began to trickle in? Fighting between Lenny and Cowell. Many pieces of broken vase, one side of the tunnel, all the water wind has been spilled, judging from a distance. Seems un it seems unlikely it was knocked over by the trolley. That doesn't prove shit. Farina's conjecture no longer holds water. Wait, what? Plenty of prepared magic tricks to solve Hilsey in a magic box. As Hilsey has appeared complete unharmed before all our eyes, Farina's conjecture would no longer hold water. Oh, no longer holds water. How would Hilsey have reacted when the water from the primordial sea began to trickle in? If I did indeed break out. The flower vase was not broken to cover anything up, yeah. but was smashed during the struggle between Lillian and Cowell. Okay, Lily locked Cowell out. What did Hilsey do? She changed clothes. An audible thump. I guess this is countered by the audible thump, right? Yeah. The strange sound wasn't from a fight. It was Lillian's attempt to break out when she was frightened. Fair enough. All right. Making sense. Knocking about. Well, the vase was already dead here, so I think it's this one. Uh, no. Found in the tunnel. I mean, this actually this does counter this, right? Because it it doesn't make sense for the clothes to be there if she stayed in the box. Lillian was afraid that she would be recognized if she left. Uh huh. So she changed clothes and hid, biding her time. Just what one might expect of an experienced thief. <laughs> She's so such. Just what one might expect. <laughs> I, I had to think about that one for a long time, for the first one mostly. Having been selected out of the blue, Lillian panicked. Uh huh. Her panic only intensified after she entered the tunnel and had water poured on her head. Yeah. So she kicked the door open, producing the thud we all heard. Like she said. Hearing <laughs> this heat, though. Leapt into the tunnel, only to discover that Lillian had not dissolved. Uh huh. He did not know that Lillianne was not from Fontaine, but was a thief uh -huh. who made her way in by stealing a ticket. It doesn't explain that she was chosen, though. Mistakenly believing that the water from the primordial sea needed time. Maybe she happened to steal it from a girl. He tried to force Lillianne back into the box. Uh huh. The two broke the flower vase during the struggle, but Lillianne came out on top. Queen shit. Let's go, Lillian. With no way of escaping, <clears throat> she changed her clothes and hid in the costume trunk until the performance ended. <laughs> yeah, got him. Can we please get some more weight instead of even? We're even again. All right, decent refu refutation. Dun 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 refutation. She would have to go through guard inspection if she tried to leave afterward. So, she has been trapped in the opera house these last two days. And ate my macarons. She had already become desperately hungry by the time we were chatting over I know. Macarons. So, she swiped two of them right under our noses. I know. Talk about a sneaky thief. From where? At this point, all the She's being escorted away as well. Have now come to life. 
Uh huh. Ah, so that's the whole story. There's a, there's no way she does a comeback now. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you, thank you. And it was all a play too. She's still alive. Ah, oh, finally, it's tipping our side. Finally. Then, Lady Farina, do you wish to speak against the defense's statements? No. I. Uh, um. No, you don't. Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. <laughs> As such, I request that the prosecution not ha. leave the room before <laughs> the proceedings have concluded. You're actually being dotted right now. <laughs> what? Are you reading my mind now? You did turn away and, like, walk. No, I have no ah, defeats. arguments. I admit defeat. Mm-hmm. But really, could you at least have left me with some dignity? No. Wow. Look at that. She's like a deflated balloon now. She's like a spoiled kid. If there are no objections, then as the Chief Justice of Fontaine, uh -huh. I shall once again repeat the full sequence of events. Go for it. We're all ears. The actual perpetrator of the serial disappearances, Cowell, mm -hmm. selected his next victim from the audience reservation list. Which, like, happened to be the, a girl, and then a girl stole it as well. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be chosen. I see. To cover up any evidence while committing the deed, Cowell thought of allowing the water tank to fall, mm -hmm. which would conceal the water left behind after the young woman was dissolved. I see. He also tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks at the end of the performance to cause the tank to drop and hide the watermarks. Yeah. He poured the water from the primordial sea into a balloon during the preparation of the magic box. So like and helium stuck it and the water? Lid. All right. Finally, he passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door when bringing the young woman to said box. Uh huh. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the balloon containing the water. Yeah. If all had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. However, Lillian oh, was not of from course. Fontaine and thus fled the box. Yeah, the so the water didn't work on her. I didn't even think of that, but that's also a point. Realizing that there was it's trouble, not even that the water Cowell missed or anything. entered the tunnel and met Lillian. Creepy ass Thinking mask. Thinking that the waters had not yet taken effect. He decided to proceed. Uh huh. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought, and he Queen. was overcome, knocked unconscious, Let's go. and placed into the magic box, and thus became his own final victim. Idiot. Lillian, according to her own statements, then changed clothes and hid until the performance ended, uh -huh. before hiding in other parts of the opera house. Mm -hmm. As for Linny, he was in the underground structures within the opera house. And was thus ignorant of these happenings. No one gonna question why he was there or anything, or from this reconstruction of events, we can conclude that Linny, the accused, is in fact innocent. For this crime. So no one's gonna ask what in the world he was doing in the vent? While there is much in Linny and Lillian's conduct okay. should still be investigated separately. Okay, I was gonna say. This case at least can be handed over to the oratrice ah. to make the final decision. Go for it, oratrice. Swoop. Typewritered it. Analyze the details. Neom. Here's the result, good sir. Both guilty. As such, Linny and Lynette are officially <laughs> declared not guilty. Woo! <laughs> Paimon, I'm pissed at you. The fact you're claiming all this as just your victory when I helped, both Linny and Lynette helped, the two boys helped, Poisson helped, and our new favorite girl that I still don't know the name of out of the top of my head. Great work, Navia. Thank you I love her. She's Thank so you sweet. So much. Let's not celebrate just yet. You're still gonna go to jail. Next, I think we deserve an explanation, Guard Vaughn. Okay. How did you find the water from the primordial sea in Linny's baggage? <laughs> right! Your discovery caused me to make a serious mistake, you know! Oh, wow. Or was that not a discovery, but false evidence that you dare to bring before this court? Wow. I suspect that the accomplice mentioned in Cowell's notes was not Linny, Ooh. but you, yes? Ooh. I... <sighs> Vaughn! I'm sure you know what you must do to lessen your sentence. Plead guilty. Speak quickly! Unless you 
want to earn yourself a one-way ticket to Coupon Town. What is Coupon Town? I, I was just following orders. From whom? We were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearances onto Linny, and thus cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. Okay. The higher up said this was the best opportunity to do so. Who is trying to get rid of the Fatui other than us? And now that your plan has fallen through, and the secrets of the water have been revealed, you have become a liability to said higher-ups, yes? Uh-huh. Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know. He's and right. seek the protection of the guards. He's right. I just realized this is also, I think, a, um... That, like, the things he's wearing on the top of his... Or at the bottom of his shirt? It's kind of like a scale as well. Yes! I'll tell you everything I know! I'm so intrigued. Who... Who... Your boss discovered that the water can cause people to dissolve. Who's your boss? It can also be made into a potion, which, when extremely potion set up. diluted can cause people to experience unforgettable exhilaration. Are you too strong for my potions, Traveler? We've been in this business for a while now, and have made decent mora off it. The disappearances were also the boss's idea. I mean, this is the boss we're uh, talking about. The... <laughs> Holy shit, <laughs> what? <gasps> he was about to spill the secret. He turned into water? <laughs> And now he can no longer talk. Wow. Such ruthlessness. <sighs> I shouldn't have Who? expected any less of them. Who? An outrageous act. Who? All present, please submit to inspection immediately. Hey, look at that. The robot guards are here too. However, nothing is found on the scene apart from the liquid left behind after Vaughn dissolved. Who are we talking about? I'm confused. We're just going back now? I, I guess. The problem seems to have been solved for now. We're not needed anymore. What in the world happens in our daily life, man? That's true, but... Uh-huh. Traveler, Paimon, please wait. Can you tell us who this person is? Wow, I refuse hey. to turn around. I know you may not want to speak to me right now. Maybe you don't even want to look at me. Okay. But still... Let me thank you again for defending me to the end. Even yeah. after you learn that I'm a member of the Fatui. I still don't think that's that problematic knowing child, but whatever. I just didn't wish someone to see... I just... Didn't, what, I, I know how to speak. I just didn't wish to see someone being falsely accused. I guess. But regardless, I'd like the opportunity to set things straight. I think we're even. I didn't approach you with any ulterior motives or ill intent. I've spoken to you as myself, just plain Linny, this entire time. Mm -hmm. As for why I'm a Fatus, it's because the goals of the House of the Hearth align with those of an orphan like me. That's all. <laughs> the fuel bad that arc. That's how Father, who you might know as the Knave, approached recruiting us back then too. I have I don't know either of these names. The Knave? The one who controls the House of the Hearth? She's your father? Is the Knave the... The... the Cryo Archon? That's right. And since we're here, I was wondering... Would you mind hearing a story? It's about my past. There's too many names I don't know, Linny. Be more baby with me. Back when our parents first died, Lynette and I were left wandering the streets. Mm -hmm. To survive, I took to surreptitiously observing an older street performer who did magic. I see. It took me several days to figure out how he pulled off his amazing tricks. So you did kill someone, and you do have a tear on your cheek because of that. I took my sister through several streets until we found a crowded corner, uh -huh. and we began to perform magic tricks there. Is she really a cat? To my surprise, we proved to be pretty popular, and we could at least stop worrying about where our next meal would come from for a time. Uh huh. But I didn't want my sister to remain a street rat together with me forever. I see. Before long, an aristocrat came to me and claimed that he wished to take us in after watching my performances. I see. So you went from orphans to nobility just like that? That was how we felt at first, too. Uh-uh. As if fate was on our side and we could say goodbye to those painful days. Mm -hmm. But I gradually discovered that while we were called foster children, he was really after my talent for magic tricks. Right. He would constantly take me to all sorts of banquets to garner attention, which he would then use to expand his social circles. Uh-huh. That doesn't seem too bad either. Better than roaming the streets at any rate. I don't know. <laughs> it 
took a while for me to realize just how dark his heart really was. Mm -hmm. After one particular performance at a banquet, I discovered that Lynette was not on the same return vehicle as me. Oh no. I waited a long time after we returned home, but she did not come back. Yeah. I went to that noble's bedroom and asked him about her whereabouts. Uh oh. The answer he gave me was she caught the eye of the most eminent person at no, the bank. So no, I sent no, her no, no. As a gift. I mean, you'll be able to perform your magic regardless of who your assistant is, yes? Oh my. Oh no. So he was gonna. Uh oh. <sighs> but wouldn't Fontaine's laws deal with such people? He won the challenge. As far as outsiders are concerned, this is a relationship akin to adoption or right. foster care. And they have their ways of escaping the eye of the law. Villains. So, what happened after that? I managed to ferret out the location of the mansion of that so-called eminent person yeah. and hurried through the night. But by the time I leaped over the walls, avoided the guards, and made my way in, uh -huh. all I saw was the moonlit ground covered in blood. Right. And the knave standing there in the darkness. <laughs> wow. So, Jesus. she already taken care of that guy. It doesn't sound... Of course she did just murder someone, but it does sound... Almost reasonable. I don't know if that's the right term to use. That's right. She had rescued my sister before she could come to any harm. Thank God. And had even discovered several girls hidden in a basement. Oh my God. All of them orphans. Oh my God. Father, I hate it. I mean, the knave might have seen something in me, and so she made me an offer. Uh huh. Join the Fatus, and and in exchange, you have decent life. The House of the Hearth welcomes you, for your interests align with ours. Mm -hmm. Here, none will ever betray you. Indeed, betrayal shall never be permitted here. I see. I was hesitant to trust her. I mean, I had just been betrayed by nobles. And she did just murder someone in front of you, but she also did save your sister. But she was also quick to destroy the noble who had taken us in at first, giving us back our freedom. Uh-huh. So that's how the two of you joined the House of the Hearth. That's wild. That's on the past, though. The knave is after the Gnosis, isn't she? She has her own plans. That I'm not allowed to speak of. She has gained permission or I will turn into Sarita water. To first use the Gnosis's power once oh, she so it's not the Teresa. It. She plans to use it to find a way to break the prophecy and save Fontaine. Okay. So, she believes in that prophecy, too? Do we get to learn to this person to know her? What if it's Alice? That's right. The whole House of the Hearth is currently working to combat that crisis. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna I need some time to figure out who everything who is who in this because there's Today's too many. Today's case has also proven that people from Fontaine can indeed dissolve into some sort of water. Yeah. Thus further supporting the prophecy. That's wild. All of us House members here, Lady Arlecchino herself included, That's are her? from Fontaine. We won't give up on defending our homeland. Is she the knave? Lady Arlecchino? That makes sense, then. To us orphans, the only connection we have left to this world, apart from our family, is our homeland. Madarasha. So, <laughs> from small deeds like distributing magic pockets, to huge schemes like stealing a gnosis, uh -huh. everything is aimed at dealing with that prophecy. I'm sorry. I just want to say I'm sorry. I don't think I'd say I still don't trust you. It's alright. I understand. The only thing I can do is relate all this to you. Uh huh. I just hope I respect you can our take, though. That even as a member of the house, we're not pitying I have or whatever. Never stop making my own decisions, and that I believe what I'm doing is right. Okay. Respectable. If you need anything at all in the future, feel free to find me. Wow. I will Raw. do my best to help you. Uh huh. As plain Linny. I understand. Sheed, I am not to be messed with today. <laughs> Paimon feels bad. Wow, a twist of great magic. Leave the opera house. What the hell? This was... What the hell just happened today? Where's my friend? I hope we get to talk to my friend again. For some reason, I keep wanting to call her Rose. There she is. Hey there. Navia. What was with the disappearing act you pulled right as the trial ended? I got betrayed. Were you looking for us, Navia? Yeah, we should exchange phone numbers. Well, this whole thing isn't exactly over, is it? Nah. I do feel that we're getting closer to solving the serial disappearances case, though. Yeah. Don't you think so, too? I don't know why I'm apologizing. Huh? 
What's wrong, my dear partner? She's so sweet. Uh, I was really only trying to defend Linny. <laughs> oh, wow. This is mean. I am interested in this now. Besides, are you sure we're the ones who can crack a case that's been cold for decades now? Yes. And I feel like we're incredibly impolite here. I feel way worse about this. Huh. I'm so sorry. I I would have not said I this see. if I could. Well, I won't lie. I'm a little shocked to hear that from you. I'm I am but too. I suppose you are just travelers who have only arrived in Fontaine after all. And yet we put heart and soul in defending some guy, but then the other disappearances we don't care about anymore. I'm pissed. Sorry, I might have been too presumptuous. It's not your fault. I hate that we're like this. Don't say that, Navia. Ah. Oh. And we were having so much fun investigating with you, too. I know. I'm mad. It was like having new waters flowing into a stagnant mire, causing new hope to spring forth mm -hmm. and the reflection in the murk to become clearer. I know. Oh, look, I'm smiling. Well, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm a bit prone to nostalgia. I get it. Don't mind me. I don't at all. Wait, shall we have a farewell meal? Yes. You know, to commemorate our time as partners? Yes. Huh? Do we really need to get that formal? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, guess you really did treat us as partners, huh? She's incredibly nice for how poorly we're treating her right now. Also, don't you feel like... Look at this. The Hydrolumine looks so cute with the little blue. It's, it matches the fit. Well, I just like to have a proper ending to every important memory. We'll see again. That way there are no regrets later. There's no way we don't see each other anyway, again. Anyway, it would just be a meal, so it shouldn't take up too much of your time. I'm mad, <laughs> but mostly because I love her. I guess that does help, if you say so. You don't have to twist my arm's arm. If Boss Navi is treating, can't play my name. Why are we so incredibly mean to someone that's been only nice and helped us? Oh, wonderful. In that case, why don't we return to the Court of Fontaine and head to the Hotel de Boer? Sure. I believe we'll make it just in time for dinner. All right. All right, then. Let's have our farewell meal. I can't believe that we're... This feels so mean. Prelive Blancheur and Noirceur, Chapter 4. Life cast shadows under something, something, something. Semi-automatic forging. What is this? New quest. I don't know what's popping up. I think we're done, though. I think that is the first act done. And uh, it was a big one. It was a big boy. It seems... Okay, the, the farewell meal is the first part of the second act. So, we're not going to do that right now. As it's been long enough. <laughs> It's been long enough, but that was an amazing quest. Let me go outside to get some better light and then do a little outro. Well, incredibly white light over here, uh, but it is kind of the time it is right now. It's 1 a.m. I wanted to thank you so much for watching today's episode. What a wild start to a new region. How many cool new mechanics, how many things I may or may not have predicted, and how many stupid things I may or may not have said. I think it was amazing either way. I really enjoyed this quest, and I'm really fe I'm excited to get into the next one. But I'm also happy that I'll stop here, and I'm not doing both of them in one sitting like I did with Sumeru. Because that was something. I kind of forgot. Because this also didn't really look, feel like the end of something, you know? It's, it kind of stopped us in the middle. We didn't even have the goodbye meal. And the goodbye meal is the first part of this next thing. Anyway, I'll be doing it soon. So, I hope to see you then. Let me know if you like the rambles and whatever I have in the middle of this. I'm sorry if it's really long. I'm editing these less because they're just so huge. But I still hope you enjoy. Alright. Lots of love. So happy to be in Fontaine. Merci d'avoir regardé. Je vous aime énormément. Et j'espère vous voir dans la prochaine vidéo. Lots of love. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.